maybe provide some context to the VOD listeners too, is that this weekend, uh, myself and Shivam are going to be going to sunny Winnipeg, Manitoba to record with the spike feeders. Uh, we are going to be recording CDH normal commander as well as some Canadian Highlander. Uh, and I got a bunch of catching up that I can do on my work laptop. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do on these, uh, trips is that I just get to build decks. I get to look out the window and notice that I'm flying in the air like a little kid and go like, wow. And then I get to put ice fang Codal into decks. I mean, maybe not this deck, but you know, somewhere. Uh, and Simone for the 57th month. Welcome back. How are you doing? Oh, we made it to the Gro growth and deck prime. I'm going to assume this is a mathematician. Why? Yes, it is. How did I know? How did I know? Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, and uh, Jackal Hulps back for the 19th month as well. Good afternoon. And a merry afternoon to you too. Uh, said they were German. Said they were a German mathematician. Uh, welcome back, God's Good to see you. How are you doing? How you been? I am going to very quickly pull a card from my stack of... This is my stack of OTJ cards. I'm going to pull... A card from the stack before I forget. And if I don't have it in here, I'll be very upset. And I hope the spike feeders have it. There it is. Oh, honest rut steam. I've got some real trash that I'm going to be playing with the spike feeders. Um, look forward to that. Speaking of trash, let's do let's do some enchant world and talk about some bad cards. Uh, it's a rare creature or enchantment. Or it's a mythic rare. Terror of the Peaks. Six mana red rare. That is a creature. It is not a legendary card. Could be seven mana. Seven mana or six mana red creature. From after 2014. And it's not a dragon. Uh, there are these dinosaurs that I don't remember their name that are big enough. Could be them. Oh, there's the, uh, there's some werewolves. What is it? Assembled alphas. Seven mana. So it's a seven mana red rare. Oh, and grass marauders. Yeah. Woo. Yep. Easy peasy. How does he do it? How does he do it? I mean, for this one, I'll tell you how I did it. It's because I cut this card from uh, one of the commander decks that I'm bringing for uh, filming. I'm bringing Ben Ben Aki Hermit. And uh, this is <laughs> this was in my Ben Ben deck, um, which maybe it should still be, but it's seven mana. And I cut this one in City on Fire. City on Fire, I just think, is a boring magic card. It's also very expensive. And I bent my old Rutstein. Fuck. My honest Rutstein, I guess. All right. Let's do the Spellify. Legendary creature. Three possible mana pips. Uh, whenever you cast an... No. Artifact. Creature. A... Plus X plus X... Plus X plus X. Create a XX blank T-O-K-E-N token. Oh, can somebody help me with this one? Is this... Um... No, I think that card has another line of text. Is this Talrand Sky Summoner? <laughs> best to ever do it best to ever do it <laughs> uh, no what well, the question that i was going to ask was um what's the name of the illusionist that like makes um it makes whenever you draw your second card it makes like a, a star star it's from 
the AFR or something. And then I recognize like, oh, this is not, um, this is not two separate abilities. And then I was focused on whenever you cast, and I was like, Ann, whenever you cast, and what would it be and because it wouldn't be creature or instant it could be artifact but a a r t uh i f a c uh, and it's not there so whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell uh sort of thing yeah cool 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 yeah it's min min is the oh what did i delete i deleted something that i should have deleted anyways great hey wait a minute i wanted to delete this Perfect. So then what the, oh, cause this is, I, I see. I'm, I'm using this as though it's something else. Talked about the news. What, OJ died? The football player? We have not talked about OJ's death. <laughs> not yet. I was gonna save that memoriam for, for later. It would be very funny if in the funeral procession it was a white bronco. <laughs> and the actor? The Heisman winner? I think the two-time Heisman winner, right? The funniest thing about OJ dying, other than the fact that it's OJ dying, but the, one of the things that I've seen, I saw somebody mention, like, I'm not even a football guy. I'm not even a football guy. But I saw somebody mention, um that uh, they're like, OJ wasn't even a good football player. And I look at them like, what are you fucking talking about? Wasn't he just like, one of the best? Like, that guy was crushing it. Uh, it's just, you know, you can be like, hey, uh, great football player. But, you know, just dreadful for uh, what he did to, um, you know, uh, Ron Goldman and uh, his wife. She even welcome back for the 44th month. Jesus fucking Christ, 44. Yeah, you're telling me, dude. You're telling me. Your therapist at the end of today's session told you that your homework's to play a souls like. Oh my God. Shivam, allow me to help you on your journey. Let's go. I can show you the world. It is known to those as Lothric. <laughs> <clears throat> He's like, work on your avoidance of uncomfortable situations. That feels like a thing that a lot of people need to do. <laughs> Why deal with uncomfortable situations when I can prance around in perpetual adolescence? Not saying that's you. I'm just saying this as an attack on everyone. Can't you just watch Nathan for you? <laughs> watch, um... Oh, what's the... There was that show he did with Emma Stone. I haven't watched it, but I want to watch it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do this Artifact Chaos Phantom Draft thing. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but let's uh, hop in. I know that there aren't that many... Uh, this must have just gone live. Yeah, it started today. Uh, Power Flapjack, thank you for the 200 bits. I'm sure generations to come will remember him for his excellent skills on the field. He had a killer mentality. He was slaying DBs left and right. He just slaughtered defensive game plans. An absolute beg your pardon? You're unable to join the draft league because an unexpected internal error occurred. Well, let's try this. No. Can I restart this? This is so eggs, fucked. Eggs. Please let me stream. Yes, I'm just going to log out of Magic Online and try it again. Moto wants me to play Elden Ring. I don't want to play Elden Ring, though. I don't want to play Elden Ring. I mean, I do want to play Elden Ring, uh, but my metrics don't want me to play Elden Ring. Annoyed and confused. Welcome back for the 11th month. Howdy, howdy. 11 months, that's like whatever number is the funniest years. 
Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, that is pretty fun. That is pretty goofy. That's pretty great. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, Elf Lawyer for the third year. So I was right, I wasn't sub. See, there's your problem. Now you don't have to get, you know, uh, recruited to the U.S. Army. Okay, there we go. We're fine. We are fine. We're fine. Leveling every stat equally. Oh, oh, Jorbs is playing it. Oh, God. Well, you know what? If that's Jorbs' first Souls-like, then that's okay. It's all about letting people, uh, you know, experiment. And uh, they get to discover how poorly their build is. How poorly they made their build. When's the next North 100 podcast come out? Tomorrow. The next one comes out tomorrow. This one's a three-parter for uh, OTJ. And we also have a non-set review episode uh, in the works. So get ready. I said get ready. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, it'll happen, but it'll come out in like, you know, a month from now. How much, how big of a donation would it take for you to build and paint a 40K army? I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I would need it to be, uh, like, <laughs> you would have to buy the stuff for me entirely and the paint. Like I would not, cause I have been pretty adverse to any of the Warhammer things. Um, I like the idea of painting little guys. That's kind of cute. But you know, secret layer catch up review. We are planning that one at some point in time, CD Mac, where it's going to be the universes beyond slash uh, Laura Croft. What if you donated me my huge pile of shame? Would I know, like, how to do anything? Fantasy football? <laughs> I don't know. Didn't I literally say at the top of the show? Now, I don't really know anything about football. Painting little guys is a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, that... I understand the appeal of that. Enti entirely. Is the OTJ cover the Who and Fallout cards? Oh, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about, is that when Assassin's Creed comes out, we're going to do a set review that is a cover of, you know, unique cards that got released through Secret Layers and Doctor Who and Fallout and uh, Assassin's Creed. Eggs, eggs. Jesus Christ, for potato, don't eggs. do that to me. Some artifact cube, huh? Wait. Artifact cube? This is just MH... What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is just MH2. But, like, this is literally just MH2. Oh, it's a chaos draft? Nothing told me that. I mean, this fire ice is pretty good. Eggs, eggs, I could take fire ice. Bunch of sets with artifact stuff. Oh, I see. There's also Unholy Heat. Maybe Unholy Heat's... Yeah. And Holy Heat's probably better than Fire Ice. Chaos? Yeah, but I didn't know that it was a Chaos draft. I thought it was Ar Artifact Chaos. Like, it was just a bunch of artifacts. I would put the Chaos after that. I mean, I guess the way that my brain... I gotta make a pick here. Uh, I think it's Unholy Heat. It could be hard evidence. I think it's Unholy Heat. Unholy Heat feels like it's going to be one mana deal six. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Uh, so this card's messed up, or it used to be kind of messed up. I wonder how good it's going to be now. Um, I love Arcbound Overseer. Don't know if this is going to be that good. Uh, now, yeah, now we're talking. Engineer is kind of hot. You can, it's a two mana one, one taps to cast, uh, or add two mana, but you can only cast artifacts or user abilities. 
Dark Steel Ingots, not the worst. Whisper Cell Cloak is just like kind of fucked. It just turns everything into like a true name nemesis. Obviously, you can't equip additional stuff, but it's not the worst. Spire Golem's pretty good. You got three islands. It's a three mana, two, four flyer. Um, yeah, I think I want the cloak. I'm going to keep myself open though. This is Alara. This is just, there's not, what are you talking about? Where, where are the artifacts cards in this? I mean, I guess Esper, but this is not what I was expecting to draft today. Got a level with you. Uh, seven hearth. Welcome back for the 25th month. How you doing? How you been? Esper, Esper artifacts. No, I know that there are artifacts in there. I just mean, like, this is very far off from, like, artifacts matter to me. Don't speak the old magics to me. I, I'm familiar. I'm going to take Bosley. Bosley feels, like, pretty good if this is genuinely going to be an artifact deck. Future Leech is also kind of scary, but I'll take Bosley. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's... <laughs> Cataract Creeper is not bad if you're in um, these colors. Three mana, two, three mana, death touch. We talked about this card earlier today. The Arena Artifact Remix. Well, yeah, but I chose to do this one because um, I have no money on Arena. None. Absolutely none. Uh, I mean, this card's not that bad. 3 mana 2 2 that you can use an activated ability to pump something. Blister Beetle's kind of good too. Could take this Creeper. I think I want to take the Bant. Bant Battle Mage. I could take this Obelisk. It's very funny that it doesn't cast this Pride Mage. I will 7x every draft of Artifact Remix. Okay, well, we could see how this goes. If I like this cube, then we can do. <laughs> We could do another draft. What the hell? A great pack for this. Um, like, what do you even pick? I could take Lost Leonin. Lost Leonin might be good. Last land in with a Whisper Silk Cloak. That's kind of hot. Also a Blighted Agent. We're going to take this Lost Leon in. Drafting Cats. Triumph is kind of funny until it doesn't do enough. Oh, oh, I love Heavy Arbalist, but there's no Solaton. But I will take Heavily. I think I'm taking Heavy Arbalist. It's so expensive but I think I'm going to take it. I don't entirely understand what the power level of this is going to be. And full disclosure, like I mentioned, I didn't know that this is what this, what this draft was going to be. Yeah, that four drops pretty good. Maybe I could pivot into use into, into black here. Also, how's it going? Ciao. How's it going? I missed the train? What train? I know that Twitch has a whole bunch of things set up to basically just get streamers to guilt viewers or to get viewers to be guilted into hopping on the train, but it is very wild where it's like, oh, dude, you missed the train. It's like, what do you mean? I was just, I was just chilling here. People just showed up and subbed if they, you know, they're like, hey, I, I'm here. Let's sub. Oh, it's Shivam's favorite card. Nemesis Mask. This card's genuinely not that bad. Also, the Stoker could maybe be fine. Mm, am I getting? I mean, I, I'd like to play Unholy Heat. Tangle Golem's pretty big. This card could be like a 5 mana 5 4 trample. Oh, right. This doesn't have trample. Holy shit. This card sucks. Oh my god, a new a new set. 
two, oh, that's two or more to cast it. And then this is the three mana, three one dies makes another one. I think I like the inscripted infantry more than Gaia's gift or exemplar. Exemplar is exactly what I wanted Tankle Golem to be. Um, I mean, this card might be just busted. Yeah, I'm going to take this Gaia's gift. Twitch knows it's autistic users. It also knows it's autistic streamers. She, yeah, saying Shim's favorite card does not narrow it down that much. But Nemesis Mask. Shim has been talking to me about Nemesis Mask a lot. Ah, the Sithis came around. Exile target creature from a graveyard. From your graveyard. I'm off it. Artifact Landwalk? Ooh, wait, hold on. Suit up my lost Leonin? What's up? No, I will get coconut milk tonight. I just got... I'll eat, I'll eat leftover smoothie. Thank you. Uh, I kind of want this pump spell. Maybe. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Maybe I should take this. I feel like I'm going to be dipping into... Maybe I could be nine. Maybe I could be not. Look at this. Two, a one mana one one that has to attack each combat if able. I mean, we could dip into black. I'll take the Naya card. Like, I could pick up this card, and then if black is open, like if we get the Bleak Coven Vampires. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't really acknowledge the chaos part of this. Ooh, guess for it. Okay, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Draft Forcing Enchantress. I mean, the people will be playing all these shatters. They might not be playing uh, the other ones. Ooh, Nemesis Mask. Genuinely had no idea this is what we'd be doing. How have you been, Chad? I feel like I haven't seen you. I was away for the weekend, and then uh, there was the, like, not a PPR PPR. I was away from the weekend, and then I was able to stream uh, on Monday after I got home. But then, obviously, pretty exhausted. And, uh... <gasps> oh, my baby! I would draft the crap out of this. Uh, do love bellying Tangleworm, too. This card's pretty strong. There's also an arrest here. I kind of just want this big idiot. Let's just take big green creatures and hopefully we outscale the lack of removal or the not great removal. Oi, Belugo, how you doing? Welcome back for the third month, or the 11th month, excuse me. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for the support. And then, yeah, on Tuesday, we did a bunch of filming and there was a power outage and we lost all of our filming. A bunch of recording North 100s, and then there was the Fam Jam yesterday, which also was cursed. Honestly, it's been a very cursed week. Very holy shit, yo, this card is so good. Okay, all right, all right. There's also a Terminate in this pack, but if if you don't know, <laughs> so this is a five mana enchantment that has Exalted, and whenever a creature you control attacks alone, if it's the first combat phase of the turn, you untap that creature and get an additional combat. Um, worth mentioning that it, you just attack alone for the first time and then you untap that and you can attack with everybody. Uh, that's pretty hot. Uh, Ceridon Yearling. Yes. Hello. It's also like kind of in our colors. I don't know what colors I'm going to be in. <laughs> like fixing is like non-existent. Don't think I, I mean, I don't think we can take this terminate. Uh, this crystallization's not bad either. What was that? Oops. Yeah, I'm paying attention to you. You can hear me, right, chat? I'm I'm giving this cat pets. I'm petting her. I can take unexpected windfall to to fix our colors. Four mana, four three. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll take wind. Do I care about artifact? Double red? That seems so bad. I gotta, like, pick a lane. I think I... Like, I could pick this circle, the moon druid, and then we just, you know, we're, like, green-white. I think creatures are a good a good bet. Also, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any creature that can, like, untap itself. No. Rainy Coast Nerd, welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing and joining the channel. What up? How you doing? How you been? Thank you for the support. I also didn't put on music. I mean... So this card's genuinely kind of annoying if we get into, uh, if we stay red. I mean, my red cards are probably better than Finest Hour. Relic Barrier could be fun. Battered Golem can combo with Heavy Arbalist. There's also an egg. Uh, Battered Golem's not that bad, too. It's, it's pretty big. I mean, it's a 3 mana 3, too. It's also Reign of Rust. Just blow up their lands. Although I think this is going to be a little bit quicker than uh, this old draft format. Skyreach Manta. Five mana, four, four flyer. Five mana, three, three flyer is not bad. I'm going to take this Golem, though. This Golem Arbor... Oh, there's Eldraine cards. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I kind of want Fairy Guide Mother. Represents a combat... Not a combat trick, but pushes damage... Is a cheap little baby. Very cool. Very cool that <laughs> chaos drafts are more interesting to think of or do on a whim than actually just play over and over again, in my opinion. Like, it's cool to be like, wow, we get to draft all these goofy sets until you have Dark Steel versus um, Dark Steel fucking LCIs in here. Deadly. Like Dark Steel versus well LCI or Wilds of Eldraine. This one's pretty good. It's a it's an artifact, which I imagine is going to be uh, pretty important for our deck, especially if I end up going three color. I'll take this diamond pickaxe. It also helps fix our colors. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. Mm, this is just kind of a big donkey. I think I prefer it to that. What do you do? Two mana, one, three. And it rummages twice. Uh, I'm going to take a big donkey. Biscuit Hipster, welcome back for the second month. Tangle Golem, now that takes me back. Oh, yeah. I was more of a Razor Golem gamer myself. Uh, but I... Well, that's not entirely true. I played all the Golems. Except for Tangle and Oxida, not as much. Um, but... Oh, I... I sure cast a bunch of golems. Mm. Three mana. Keeper's blending a smoothie. Key, three mana, one, two. That I can ping two creatures. Three mana, four, four. That gets to attack for eight. I think I would like the Aether Mage more than that. Yeah, draw golem, sick. Five mana, three, two. Fear affinity for swamps. Uh, could take the Lifesmith. Could take Volshock Replica. Does Shock... So oh, it only hits players of Planeswalkers, right? It's been a long time. I never played this card in Limited. Uh, the Oriok Replica is pretty good. 3 mana, 2-2. Two, two, pay a white sacrifice to prevent all damage a sorcerer choice would deal this turn. Or we could take Mulder Beast. I think I have to take Mulder Beast because she's being very uh, needy. Yeah? Yeah? I would take my Mulder Beast. Yeah, my Mulder Beast. We might just be in green-red. I don't know if I'm going to cast this finest hour. I was hoping to maybe get some kind of fixing, but I haven't actually seen a lot. My Bulber Beast. My Bulber Beast. Call me a False Hope replica. Ooh. Yeah, give me an artifact creature that's a colony of False Hope. Uh, sure. Got a four drop. Iron Mirror. Oh, there was an Iron Mirror in one of these packs? Oh, right. There was an Iron Mirror in this pack. Iron Mi the, the mirrors are absurd. Certainly in uh, MD5. Uh, 
I'm going to take that Mantha. Probably not playing this Mantha, but who knows. What are you trying to do, Bubba? Deal damage equal number of caves. X number of caves you control plus caves in your graveyard. <laughs> well, I'm taking this copper mirror, but this is a very funny pack. Confusion in the ranks. This is this is nostalgia for me. God, I love these cards. I'm taking the copper mirror because it's an on-color mirror. You could take off-color mirror too. Skyhunter Cub, this card is shockingly good. Three mana, two, two, but when it's equipped, it gets plus one, plus one and flying. This card just kills people. Um, Spell Bomb, is, it's a cheap artifact, replaces itself, bounce is pretty good. Terror is kind of funny because just obviously against artifacts, it doesn't do anything. Uh, Nim Shrieker could just kill you. It's an X one, but plus one plus zero for each uh, artifact you control. Taking this copper mirror. There's also confusion in the ranks, which is kind of funny. Whoa. Okie dokie. I mean, we could take the Aether Chaser and just give us another uh, energy. Mm, could take Renegade Rallyer. We do have a lot of twos. Kind of want to, or, oh, Renegade Wheelsmith. I'm going to take the Wheelsmith and maybe try to get the Chaser to come around. We're in, like, pure three colors. This deck stinks. Don't take the Chaser. <laughs> Why not, Destiny Hero Dysphoria? <laughs> oh, Sangrit Surge. Oh, there's an Elvis Visionary. Why not? Uh, ooh, Blood Cultus is kind of messed up. Three mana, one, one, tap, ping a creature. And when a creature dealt damage by this dies, put a one, one counter on it. Vicious Shadows, Commander All-Star, former Commander All-Star. Um, I kind of want to take this Sangrit Surge and then hopefully wheel Elvis Visionary or like Jungle Weaver. This card just kills people. I feel like in these kind of cubes, if you just take cards that kill people, you'll do well. You'll be fine. Tokens was open the entire time. Ooh, improvised weaponry. And there's a basilisk we could wheel. I mean, I could take the basilisk. The treasure token's kind of nice for the fixing and its removal. It's only dealing two. Uh, there's also the swarming goblins. I'm going to take the weaponry. Oh, duh. <laughs> Uh huh. Crack open, destroy target artifact or enchantment, make a treasure. Squirrel mob. Uh, fast and furious. Battle plan. I feel like I'm taking. I mean, liquid metal torque is kind of funny. Well, this is a mana rock, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of want to take this mana rock. <gasps> oh my god, I'm going to take the ran. Okay, okay, okay. The deck's coming together. Look at this. We got the Aether Torch Renegade with this elephant. We can just start generating energy and then start picking off creatures with this. My cat is screaming somewhere in the house. I don't know where. I mean, if I can somehow end up just being red green, that'd be okay. Don't exactly want to play some of these cards though. Wow, and none of these cards really help. Uh, Titanic growth? Pump spells. Pump spell. Is Fallout New Vegas not a Bethesda game? I'm asking this. No, you can use prime subs here, Nox. Yeah, it's not. What are the Bethesda Fallout games? Is that just Fallout 4? 
and 69 or 76, excuse me, three, four and 76. But new Vegas is the one that people like, right? Fallout new Vegas. That's the really good one. It was developed by Obsidian, published by, oh my God, you put Kamigawa in here. Uh, I'm going to take Coiling Stalker because it's a two drop creature. I think I like this over the bearer memory. Not my game, but I had no idea. This deck's kind of doing a thing. Like if I can get two more playables from the next couple of packs, uh, that'll be fine. This Tangle Golem could even see some play. Like, if I had to sleeve up this, I wouldn't be too disappointed. In the steel wall. Hidden Herbalists. Or a 3-mana 2-3 that can throw artifacts at them. Uh, the Countless Gears Renegade. That seems wild. That card's really good. It's a 2-2 it's a two -two and a 1-1. One -one. This is a Phantom Draft. Oh! Why did this wheel? This card's cracked! Excuse me? Oh, wait, the Hidden Herbalist is kind of hot. Pays for itself with the Rampager. Uh, another energy card? I didn't wheel the Chaser, which kind of makes sense. That Chaser is pretty good. Um, it might be a little low on creatures, but we're high on playables, maybe. Yeah, I'd, I'd, pu I'd play this deck. I don't think there's any reason to splash. Maybe if we got something else. We got big dorks. We got big idiots. Big, big idiots. Gigantic big idiots. See, that's interesting, Nox. It says that you've... It, it does now show that you have a hat. That you have subscribed. But the bot didn't shout at me. But thank you for subscribing and welcome back. Uh, welcome back uh, to the stream. God's have it good to see you. <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Just wait till they give all the, um, wait till they start handing out the God accounts for people in the Moto Creator program. I mean, I can already do that. I can already do all that kind of stuff through Mana Traders. Oh my God, we did, we drew a two drop. Oh my god, we drew a two drop. It's over. I have the pressure. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. I think I can take three. I don't need to kill this yet. Besides, I'm almost at swarming goblins. Nothing, huh? All right, well, if you're doing nothing, I'll try to kill it. Got a Gaia's gift. Got a pumped spell. Nope, we got nothing. Land. Oh, fuck. Well, one of these days we'll draw land. Surely. 
Good news, opponent. You didn't do anything with your turn, but neither did I. Oh, shit. How do I beat this? I mean, I think the answer is I don't. Also, this Tangle Golem is looking good, dude. Looking good, dude. Um... What, are we going to high roll with this, uh, the Gobbo? High roll with the Gobbo? Uh, medium roll with the Gobbo. I mean, this thing's going to be big, right? Oh, one of them goes to your hand. Oh, they go to your hand, right? Ra Main phase raise the alarm. Into, oh, into captured by Legax. Play a big idiot. Damn, captured by Legax. Are there any more plans for Lethal Company streams? No, not that I think, not that I can think of. I honestly kind of burnt myself out on that game. It was fun, but you know. Oh yeah, the Captured Sunlight, random three drop. Did you hit Perilous Mirror? Okay. Heavy game. We have. I'm trying to stream over here. We got some big idiots. We could draw this card's kind of messed up. All right. Uh, giving my Mulder Beast uh, plus three, plus three, and double strike. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Coil or coal coil no coal coal pra cowl prowler what the fuck is wrong with my brain <laughs> what is going on prowl cowler do i just want to slam Oh, I want to play my land first. Boosh. Oh, oh no, opponent. Oh no, opponent. Opponent, no! Opponent, no! <laughs> About it, no, you <laughs> As soon as they blocked with the periwinkle, I was like, I know what's gonna happen here and it's not gonna be good. Ooh. Uh, I think I'm bringing in lightning talons. Cutting circle dreams true. No way, there's no way I should do that, right? Mm. Yeah, I don't actually think I need Lightning Talents. Oh, maybe this Arbalist is not great. Could do this. Could do this. That was very funny. As soon as they blocked, I'm like, I've seen this before. <laughs> ah, it feels good to be back with the Mulder Beast. This is how I really cut my teeth as a young or a younger man. Okay. So many dead. Uh, we're now out of mango and So I should get. Oh, you don't have to actually get both out of the Okay. Um, it's good. It's tasty, thank you. I got a smoothie. Wow. 
King was very like the Hardy brothers, like like conceptually. I think that he did, he would just like watch them wrestle. Oh. You meant the Hardy brothers as in the wrestlers, not yeah, the Hardy. The Hardy Boys. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Damn, they're punchy. I might take a take a bit of damage here, chat. I don't really want to improvise weaponry this. I think I'm going to get my guy out. Because <clears throat> this can ping this, or this can ping the Malfus Revolutionary, and then we finish them off with improvised weaponry. The wrestlers are uh, brothers, yeah. Ooh, the captured sunlight. Please don't capture my Legax. It's Perilous Mirror again. Now, it's Perilous Mirror is going to be pretty good against the Aether Torch Renegade. Okay, we're going to take a, a truckload here. We're going to go to 11. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of funny. Um, I can do this into this. Into, I think I'm just playing the Stalker. Mm. Stalker to trade that. Stalker's not trading with this. So maybe I'm just playing... I think I'm playing a land and I'm equipping the, the Axe. I think so. That means that if they kill this somehow, this thing doesn't die. And I can take four here, go to seven. Then we can ping this. Oh, hey, Obis. Just popping in to say, I played so much Gladiator the past two days. Turn two channel for a win is a blast. Holy smokes. Yeah, I'll say. Glad to hear. <clears throat> I, the reception to people that actually have gotten to play Gladiator across that was incredible. The issue comes with the folks that were unable to get a game in or get matches in. And uh, I get that. That's... Uh, for sure frustrating. I'm just going to pass. This doesn't have can only use a sorcery, right? Remember this card. I could also take one. I could, I could Gaia's gift this. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. If they have a pump spell, it's brutal. They did not. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to die to this thing. We kind of need uh, a bigger donkey. Ooh. We're going to need a bigger donkey. I think the way I win this game is by dumping all of my crap on this Renegade and soaking up damage because they're casting something. Untamed Might? It's been a while since I've died to an Untamed Might. 
Oh, you're buffing that? Okay. Oh, they didn't have enough to cycle. It's your last card of pump spell. I need to gain some life here. Um, or else I'm just going to die to this perilous mirror. I need life or I need a way to brick this. <clears throat> I'm at one. This is so far. Okay. We took a bit too much damage early on. Um is a little annoying. Uh, I think I want to run it back. Maybe I want to add another creature real quick. Could just bring in this 3-1. Maybe I should just keep this. Oh, yeah. This hand rocks. <laughs> Smoothie is incredibly thick. Yeah, you can't enter anymore. Oh. <clears throat> And I'm just going to play a 4-mana four 4-3. Four a 4-mana four 4-3 four and I have all these pump spells? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's fine by me. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Kill your thing, push through some damage. You know what's a sick combo? This card and Ronus's Monument. You could do some wild stuff with those. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to do this now. In fact, I'm just going to play this stupid idiot. Yeah, name a better duo than Colossal Might and a Creature. I'll wait. I'm very much a pump spell gamer, but I don't get to do it as much as I'd like to. Yeah, that's pretty good. Epic Confrontation. Ooh, okay. That's kind of scary. Plus one, plus two. To kill off my cell sword. I mean, they're dead, but, you know. Theoretically, it could be scary. Ha ha. Woo! We, we are, we're undefeated. Yeah, I need to start casting more Berserks. Pump spells are cool. <clears throat> I wish Giant Growth was in Standard again. It occasionally comes in and out, but I would love, like, Giant Growth. Just give me Giant Growth so I can draft the limited environment where I get a bunch of 2-2s. Two 
Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> oh, I still forgot to put on the music. Oh, I don't know if I'm keeping this hand. Eh, eh, I got a two. We got a three. I got I got some big stuff. I think I should mulligan. This is just worse, but I'll keep it. All right, please, for the love of God. It might be a little loud immediately, but... Dragon Growth wasn't bro, but that was two years ago. Also, I think I said standard, and what I meant was in standard, like, draft environment. <clears throat> oh, the Picnic uh, Ruiner deck? They have a one drop, we're dead. Oh, that doesn't matter. Drafting Mono White feels like a good way of like getting somewhere in this cube. Or this Chaos Trap. Just like cheap, aggressive creatures. We took a different route of like... I don't know. I feel like evasion or say, these cube drafts, these chaos drafts or whatever, not cube, tend to devolve into three kind of primary categories of big things just winning the game. Like you just play out cards that are so huge and they can't really, your opponent can't do anything profitably against them. Um, evasive cards just win drakes that win games or you play as many cheap aggressive cards as possible and and pump spells. You exiled my herbalist. That's fine. I do need to draw another green. Come on, high roll. 20. Give me a 20. Give me a 20. Papa needs a 20. Ben needs 20. Please give me 20. All I want is 20. I make a single golem. This game fucking sucks. Jesus Christ. No second green, so I can't start playing Hawk Dog Jr. But my opponent is not doing anything. My opponent has not played magic cards, which is kind of nice. Makes my job a little easier. And we can just play the Hot Dog Baby. <clears throat> Pretty soon. Okay, there's the blue. Now they can give something flying. If they play a flyer, we got it with this. Or if they play this and then... Mm, you dead. This goes plus three, and you're dead. I should maybe have Flourishing Strike. Okay. Flourishing Strike, because if they play another creature, then we can just shoot it out of the air. Uh, I think our deck's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to keep this. If they are blue-white skies, I mean, this accelerates into a big idiot. They're blue-white skies, then we can kind of shoot them out of the air with this. Obviously, if we draw, I mean, that's a pretty good card to draw against, uh, well, all we saw was Thrumming Bird, but, you know. Yeah, Thrumming Bird. You remember Thrumming Bird, right, chat? Oh, the cloak? Putting the Whisper Silk Cloak on the Mulder Beast? Ooh. Ooh. C'est magnifique! <laughs> 
Uh-huh. So now we can't ping this, but we can just cast Flourishing Strike. Want to record this weekend? Yeah. I mean, if we can find time amid all the other recording. Yeah, if we can use their studio, then absolutely. I already have the document made. Mm. I kind of want to play this Mulder Beast. So what if I just do this? Pay for spell pierce. Like, I could play this Renegade, but I would rather cast Mulder Beast and then suit it up or double strike trample it. Sure. My torque! My torque! Ooh, 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 the combo! He got the combo! Mm, I mean, the combo here being that I'm going to cast this and we just get it a 1 mana 3-4, which I guess is okay. It'd be nice if we found a way to use the mana, like if we paid the energy, or not mana, the energy. Unfortunately, uh, we can't. But uh, that's okay. We still get one ping, and now I have a 3-4 in play. It's kind of hot. As long as they don't play a flash creature. Yo, yo, Wheeler. Feeling hype because last night I came second at a seven-point event, only getting beaten by a former Nats champ. Hell yeah, let's go. What were you playing? Uh, Plachow, welcome back for the eighth month. How are you doing? I mean, you know. How you doing? Uh, just had to get that cowboy hat back. Looks great on you. Stoked for the crew to come over at the end of uh, April. For those of you in the uh, wanting to make a pilgrimage to Yellow Jacket Comics and Toys, at the end of April, on the 28th, the Sunday, there's a... 1K, 2K, Red K, Blue K, something like that. There's there's an event. Oh, you are big. Really big. Gonna need to draw a land. Thank you. Um, they might not block. I mean, if they block, I'm gonna kill this. Or I could just play Mulder Beast. They feel very threat light. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Other side of the planet, that might make it tough. I will be at the Vancouver Command Fest, yep. I need to put together like a giant list of the things that I'll be at that I can publicly talk about. I mean, I can with I can 100% confirm that I'll be at Amsterdam. I know that I was already confirmed for that, but now I can like, you know, I can make the like, loading ready run, we'll be at Amsterdam kind of call. Yeah, I'm, I'm so stoked. Ooh. That's kind of funny. We can return it with the Stalker if we want. Good smoothie, Kiefer. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that we do like a Canlander event in Amsterdam too. The price of entry will be um, uh, people filling out my German foil <laughs> wants. I don't even know what this does. Okay. Huh. 
Aha. 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 Very good. Amlander. I mean the advice columnist. So this gives it four and this gives it seven. Presumably if they don't have anything, they're just dead. So let's go and try and kill them. Oh. Yes. Computer, stop. Chung chung. Okay, let's go for that trophy. Uh, dirt, 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 striden, striden, striden. What is that? Step through. German skills? No, this is I own a foil German step through. Unfortunately, I mean, I'll take whatever, uh, I'll take whatever uh, praise I can get, but. Mm hmm. I got tagged in the Finaler showdown. As a wilder Nakatl gamer. Wow, this hand is actually. Uh, eh, it's pretty good. The Mirrodin cycle of uh, Kev Walker Mirror is so fucking good. It looks so good. If you ever want to do yourselves a favor and pick up a copy of a magic card that is probably dirt cheap, but you just want to look at it, get yourselves a Mirrodin. Oh my God, this card is $12. What? I was going to say a Mirrodin uh, foil silver mirror. Like an OG Mirrodin. Oh, they had the Oxidize. Fuck. All right, that's pretty good. My opponent's gaming. Chromatic Star. Pretty strong in these artifact cubes. Ducks. Things. They look so good. Uh, Iron Mirror also looks pretty good. Curious as to what this... Why are they so fucking expensive? Foil mirrors are so... What? I mean... I guess I can understand it because they're, you know, mirror. How much is a non-foil? A quarter. Yeah, it has to be from, uh, like, mirror decks. They're all sold out, too. They look so good. They look great. They look incredible, babe. Uh, thank you for the raid. 321TV. How y'all doing? How you doing? Playing these artifacts, chaos drafts on Moto. Uh, finding out what exactly they are in the process of drafting them. We're currently in the finals. We're 2-0. and My opponent is also, I believe, 2-0. and I don't know. Did the bot tell me? Yeah, we're on. Oh, they're one to know. Okay. <clears throat> Do I own an Urtet? I feel like I own an Urtet. Or is this one of the ones? Urtet might be one of the ones where I can't find it all. They marched of otherworldly light, my, my card. Okay. All right, so they haven't built to the board. And they missed a land drop? Or did I go first? Uh, they missed a land drop. Okay. This card's pretty good. This card's also pretty good. Here's my tangles. OG benevolent bodyguard. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one to get. I don't have a foil one. I have a non-foil German one, but I need to get a foil one. 
I like that people are discovering that card outside of Ruin Your Evening. Like Death and Taxes players are starting to play it too when, and test it out. How much is a foil benevolent bodyguard from Judgment? They are casting another removal spell on a card that doesn't matter to me. Oh, it's like five bucks. That's not bad, or five euro. That's a good draw. So I'm going about I'm about to do something unholy. unholy. <laughs> Yeah, this card rules. This was a this card was a big learning moment for me when I was younger too, where I was like, "Why would I want to sacrifice my own creature?" And then realizing that I could sacrifice it to protect. Okay, so here you want some Wheeler lore. You want some Wheel lore chat. When I started playing, I had a white deck uh, that my cousin gave me that used a couple of important cards. Uh, Valor being one of the uh, key cards of the deck. Four mana, two, two, first strike. As long as it's in your graveyard, you have a Plains Creatures you can draw at first strike. Unbeatable. Unbeatable. When combined with Militant Monk. Three mana, two, one, Vigilance. Tap, prevent the next one damage. It would be dealt to target creature or player this turn. So I thought this card was the best thing in the world. I mean, a three mana, two power vigilance creature that can prevent damage was pretty sick. The problem was they could kill my militant monk with a dark banishing. However, with the power of benevolent bodyguard, <laughs> I found out that you could protect your creature. Even if I, even if I had to sacrifice this little baby wheeler, just learning how to play the game was like, wait a minute. I paid one mana for this and it protects my three mana card. And when you combined all these with commander Isha, four mana, two, four pro creatures. I mean, you can't, I just to clarify in now that I'm older, I know this is illegal, but when I was younger, I definitely sacrificed a lot of benevolent bodyguards to protect, protect Commander Isha's from Dark Banishing. I was like, this is incredible. This just stops everything. Why would protection stop my own things? So I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, I cheated at Magic the Gathering against my cousin, unbeknowingly. But he taught me how to play, so, you know. Maybe it was really him. Maybe he was the real cheater. Are you going to block? You didn't block? Opponent! <laughs> they didn't block! <coughs> they didn't block. Bro, they didn't block. Um, I don't know how much Flourishing Strike's gonna do. Maybe the extra damage from this. They're on, like, Bant. Tons of removal. Hmm... I'm gonna actually play this Merrileaf Rider and get rid of this Arbalist. Just increase the amount of creatures I have. My stuff have Intimidate? No, only it had Intimidate and other green creatures I control have Intimidate. And they could have blocked uh, the Tangle Worm with their own green creature if they wanted to. They just didn't. Mm hmm. I'm playing Valor in a Commander deck this weekend. Here, I'll share you. You want to see the spice chat? I had to rebuild this deck um, because I built this deck. I played a webcam game with it and then I forgot, like I just lost the deck list somewhere. And so I rebuilt it. Admittedly with a new pair of partnered commanders. Um, where did it go? So this is my Galanra Caller of Wirewood and Ravo Soul Tender uh, partnered deck. This is eight land of Maria. Uh, 
It's got all these cyclers. It's got all the ways of getting some lands into play. <laughs> yeah. Eight land Ameria. So, because, I mean, look, all I want to do is play Ameria, but I need to, <laughs> I need to really send it home that I, look, I need to play Ameria. I only need seven or more planes. So if I just put Ameria and seven planes, we're good. And then my deck is just all these uh, plane cyclers and land cyclers. <laughs> oh yeah, I could put Belcher in this deck actually. I'll, I'll share this list. I've played this before, but I had, um, did I have Carador as my commander? This was before, the last time I played this, uh, Akoria had just come out and like, that was it. I'll keep this hand. Yeah, Cloud Thresher is a sicko. I also should probably, this deck should probably play Crater Hoof Behemoth, but I didn't exactly want to play Crater Hoof. So I'm settling on playing this Moonshaker Cavalry because I own a copy of it and I haven't played it yet. Uh, and speaking of uh, <laughs> Odyssey block staples, Centaur Chieftain, four mana, three, three haste with threshold. When it ETBs, creatures you control get puzzle one, one and gain trample until end of turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this card just kills people. Yeah, I'm so stoked for this deck to just do fucking nothing. I'm going to be playing... I'm bringing um, that deck. I'm bringing Ben Ben Aki Hermit. And I'm bringing, oh God, what is the other deck I'm bringing? The other casual deck I'm bringing. Ben Ben, Aki Hermit. Uh, oh, I'm bringing Obnix, List of the Black Oath, uh, Death by a Thousand Cuts. I think this hand's gonna be pretty good against them. We just have a bunch of creatures and a protective spell. Odyssey Draft playable. The Chieftain? Oh, yeah. Because it was just a 4-mana 3-3. That's just good. You played an ape? Uh-oh. That's not fair. You played a rare. Unholy. I mean, unholy, he doesn't even do anything. Are we getting a Bajukabog pass? Don't do that to me. Don't do why would you want to do that to me? This isn't the green ramp deck that's ruining your metagame. Oh. Awfully rude. Oh, I cut the Arbalist. Maybe I... Did I cut the Arbalist? Maybe I should cut the Battered Golem too. I mean, if this card trades with this card, I'm okay. A green ramp is OP. Why? <laughs> Haven't you heard? Green ramp is overpowered. I refuse to talk to anybody in my playgroup. Green ramp is overpowered. Ooh. Um, I kind of don't want to play this without the Gaia's Gift. Hmm. Yeah, I'll play the Battered Golem. Is Commander Twitter mad at green? No, it's just Seth. Probably better known as Saffron Olive. Uh, yeah, I will in that mess. S Chaos Agent, welcome back for the 14th month. How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for all the support. The Librarian's Year. Green Ramp is overpowered. It's too good. <laughs> oh. 3-5. Unbeatable. 
mean, I guess it's beatable with Circle of the Moon Druid. Or if I draw... Oh, well... Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's like... Hmm. Green Ramp is a little too strong in my local play group. It's like, yeah, okay, well, you know, maybe you should talk to the green players. You know, see, like, hey, just a heads up. Kind of just makes it a weird, like, race to the finish. And, and it's like, mm, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start playing Armageddon. Why don't I play Mox Diamond in my Magda list? Do I not? I don't know. Why don't I play Mox Diamond in my Magda list? Uh, there's no way I would have cut it. It's Mox Diamond. So unless the list that I was like looking at do not play Mox Diamond, then oh, I don't want that. <laughs> it's between me and God. I don't know. Let's look at MTG top eight. So much damage. Part of me thinks I should have taken that uh, that arrest over the tangle worm, but you know. Uh, it looks like a lot of Magdalists don't play Mox Diamond. That one does. That one doesn't. This one does. This one doesn't. This one does. Must be that when I built this Magda list and all the lists that I looked at, only one of them had Mox Diamond. Like, I'm still a very new player to CDH. Land. So I must have just been like, all right, I guess these Magda players figured out that they shouldn't be playing Mox Diamond. Renegade. My Aether Torch Renegade. You know what? It's I actually have a Mox Diamond right here. I'll put this Mox Diamond in my Magda list. I have not cleaned up since I got home. My I'm very tired. <laughs> See you this weekend from Not Jim. Is this actually Not Jim? Who is this? Who is this? I'll find out. Don't make me find out. Cool Mox eye patch. Why am I not playing Mox Diamond? I'm adding Mox Diamond to my CDH list. Or, oh wait, no, my Mox... This is getting proxied. I'll just have a Mox Diamond on me. Five head. Mm, yeah, I think I'm taking five head here. I'll find you. Excuse me. Glad to have you back, annoyed and confused. Don't play another thing. I mean, if you play a big thing, at least let these winguses and dinguses deal with it. Post combat doing that? <clears throat> you got another spell? Oh, I don't care about divine offering. Divine offering? Do it for divine. I ain't going to do it.
You know what? Fuck it. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I'm killing them. We're winning this game. Next turn, I get to attack for 12, potentially 14. Ooh, please don't kill me. It was a joke. I was joking. God, I was joking. Dude Patrol, welcome back for the 45th month. 45 months, more like 1,369 days. Nice. That is nice. Thank you for the support. I hope you're doing well. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How are you doing? How are you doing? How you been? Mm. I could just play this dork. Like, I want to chump with this. What if I did this? Am I just... I think I'm playing as though they don't have removal. I think that's how I win. We're down to one card. They go up to two cards. What other removal spells? They used March. They used Ox Dies, Divine Offering, Revoke Existence was their other one. They could have additional removal on top of that. Back like this. If I attack with these two, they take eight, they go to seven. And then I have this on the back. They kill that, attack with that. And then I can attack for it again. I mean, I could keep this back and just play it a little safer. Yeah, I'm going to play it a little safer. This is just going to send uh, eight unblockable damage to them. And so this can, if they attack with both of these, this can just block that. If they attack with, sorry, if they attack with both of these. This goes here, this goes here, and I shoot this. Uh, and then the Ibex dies. If they attack with just one, then Aether Touch Renegade can block... Um, or we could even double block and ping. I think that's more realistically what's going to happen. So I don't die to like a random pump spell. Employee pre-release today and you got to trick shot your opponent's get rock and reanimate next turn. Holy smokes. Hell yeah. I did get to during the... Um, I did the I did the wrong thing, but I did get to... Steal an opponent's creature, sacrifice it, play Terror of the Peaks, and then reanimate it to get it back, and then shoot them for a bunch and get the ETB and all that. It was it was pretty clutch. It was, as the kids say, uh, clutch. Ahoy Yeet, what up? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, I could be off Megas of the Moon because I'm not on moons. Does this, I don't think this deck needs moons. Does my Magda deck need moons? I need to figure out who Oranges is. Is this Aaron? This is Aaron. This has to be Aaron. There's a fusion gaming link here. <laughs> Not to dox you. It is Aaron. I, I knew it. Oh. Love the music you play makes the stream very chill. Thank you. It doesn't get muted. 
I don't know why this doesn't play a Mox Diamond. I have now updated it. I mean, if you've already, if the if the stuff has already been set up, then uh, well, don't worry about it, obviously. But um, that's a good card. But I'm not ready to do this yet. I did update the list. I cut Magus to the Moon and I added Mox Diamond. I didn't want to cut a land. And uh, I do like being on a heavy number of dwarves. You're eating a kebab? That sounds great. Now this card's a little bit of a pisser here. Just cycling the. Why would you cycle the star here? No. <laughs> I'm excited. I haven't actually gotten to play Magda. I've only goldfished Magda. A bat from Stardew. I forget what a bat from Stardew sounds like. A bat? Is it like this or like this? Or... No, they're... Pulse of the Fields?! This doesn't matter. You are had more life than me. Ha ha. Dude, Pulse of the Fields rules. This card is genuinely a nightmare. You gain four life, and if Pona has more life than you, it goes back to your hand. This card rules. I need to get a Trampler in play. <clears throat> or a Flyer. Or my Whisper Self Cloak. Cloak would be pretty huge. Yeah, I would I would be down for a whisper silk cloak. You could also get up to eight energy. Start doming them out. Yeah, the pulses are pretty gross. Pulse of the Tangle. It's just like you float there, one idiot. <laughs> You're just like, make a 3-3. Three, three. And then my 3-3 three, three trades with your relevant creature. I mean... Oh! Mulder. They could have revoke existence. I moved the cloak over to here. Um, mostly because it just gives us a big booty blocker. And like having the cloak off this means if we draw a land, we can surge plus cloak in one turn. I don't know what they're doing though. I mean, I don't need to commit to the surge. That's the thing. I mean, I should just go for killing them. If they have a revoke existence, they have a revoke existence. But if I'm doing it that way, then I could just do this instead. Do 
Because if I go to try to equip and they kill this in response, then it doesn't actually get attached. <laughs> You're so loud, Mulder. You want to say hi? Just draw the removal spell. Nope. Cha ja jung We did it. That was a fun draft. Red, green, big idiots. Uh-huh. And then we get to open this for content. <laughs> All right. Treasure chests are worth like nothing right now, uh, which is pretty, pretty bad. But, you know. Let's do another one. <laughs> what was that? Hey, where are you going? Where are you walking? Where are you going? Motor screen. What are some good treasure chest hits? Complete sets. Bunch of play points. Um. Raghavan. How you doing, chap? Rambo Wolf. Welcome back for the third month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have a good to see you. Yeah, you can get a complete set out of a chest. I received some very cool things in the mail today. Some very kind gifts. Hold on. Oh, these are these the permanent sealed ones? Oh, no, they're not. Some very kind gifts, which I will show off in a second here. Also, I'm not going to dox them entirely, but I will say thank you to them directly oh, or indirectly. Uh, Okara sent two foil German initiative tokens. So we now have, now I have foil German initiative tokens to, to really just drive home the tilt factor of these. This is so funny. Because now I can play these initiative cards and then put a little Hamtaro figurine for me and a Hamtaro figurine for my opponent. The most tilting thing anybody can ever do. Now they can't even tell you where to go. Yeah. Name all the rooms in the dungeon. Helmer Eingang, Schmied, Schmeid, Falle, Falle! Archive. Arena. Catacomben. I need a fancy orc army, yeah. Honestly, the German foil tokens might be even, I'm, I like German foil tokens, maybe even more than just the German foil cards. Because it's so, that's that level of like, no, I need, this needs to be perfect. You know? And it's always love my Hom Taro dungeon tracker. Is that because I've tried to steal that from you for like years at this point? <laughs> Pogifers, my orc army token. Very good, sir. Gotta sleeve all my OTJ stuff. Oh, how are you doing, chat? Oh, it's not just me. Wow. Well, see, this is why I was trying to steal it. Because I knew that there were other people looking for it. Uh, I did not check out the arena artifact draft. Because I have no money on arena right now. And 
truthfully, that's what I was hoping the fam jam would do. But because we did the fam jam today on the early access uh, instead of the actual launch day, it uh, means that I did not get gems courtesy of Loading Ready Run to then chain and win a bunch of drafts to keep my gem count high. Keep that gem count high. The best OTJ token? Oh, that's easy. How do you look up tokens? Cards. Is there a way to look up tokens on Scryfall? I like the cow. Yeah, it's the, it's the, um, not the tutu cow. I like the, the bow. Yes, thank you. Abusing magic. How dare no. It's this one. It's so cute. I mean, is there are there other how do I just look at oh you do it like this? The sheep is great. I really like the sheep. I might actually like sheep more than bow, but sheep I don't know. The bow, I really like the fact I like named tokens like this. Um, the meteorite looks pretty cruel, cruel, cool and good. That's a nice angel too. Is this, oh, that's from Seraphic Steed. Yeah. Pretty dope. Miss Todd, welcome back for the fourth month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. May I say good to see you. Thank you so much for the support. You know what? I am going to, uh, Grab meds really quickly and I'll be right back. my hair doing i think i use too much product in my hair after i get a haircut like i get used to using the same amount that i'm supposed to normally but because there's just less hair i used to pick up every one of every card and i also would grab all the like unique tokens but then they just made too many tokens and too many cards and i haven't been able to pick up tokens i should make a big order from card kingdom for tokens is what i should do or well you know, maybe not Card Kingdom. Because, uh, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I've, uh, been, uh, well, not, uh, doing what I'm supposed to be doing for a reason. Okay, <laughs> all right, now we're ready to draft. Now we can make all the best picks and draft all the best cards. It'll be perfect. 
Also, miraculously, my headache is gone. Yeah, for full disclosure, there have been posts about folks that are uh, that work for Guard Kingdom saying that uh, some of the conditions and some of the decisions involving the union are not exactly, uh, well, good for the worker. And um, it is something where I am always going to side with the worker over the company on something like this. Even if it is just, you know, one or two people that are like, hey, this sucks. It's it's worth hearing. And at least in this most recent one, from what I have been told from people that uh, work with Card Kingdom on uh, the, the back end, as well as the, like, with the union, that uh, this one may have been more blown out of proportion than anything. But if you have enough of these instances then it's, you know, it racks up to something where it's like, well, if this keeps happening, even if it's little small, like, aggressions, then then what are we doing here, you know? I guess what I'm saying is I'm trying to be very open to uh, other possible endeavors. Yeah, exactly. Power Flapjack has it. Once is an incident, twice is concerning, thrice is a trend. Which does make it a little awkward because obviously Card Kingdom and um Card Kingdom and uh Loading Ready Run have a pretty good relationship, obviously a, a very long time relationship. And for what it's worth, the people that I have worked with and that work continue to work with involving uh Card Kingdom uh have been great. They are very much focused on, well, again, the worker. The problem is that when you represent uh, a brand or a company, you represent them as a whole. And so as much time as I can spend saying that the individuals working there are doing a, you know, doing their best. If the company itself continues to prove that it's just like does not have their best interests in mind, which most, which all companies do, just to be very clear. Um, then, you know, you start to reassess and reevaluate. Plant spider. We've had seven in the queue for a hot minute here. Which I guess is part of, uh, hey, it's my, hey, it's my name. Wow. It's my name. It's not a. It's not a cube. It's actually a chaos draft, which I did not know. Uh, ooh. Actually, before I do this, uh, oh, we're in. Oh, <laughs> dross harvester. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Oh man, I love this card. I'm not taking this card. I am likely taking bone splitter, but dross harvester rules. Or I could actually take Oriok Blade Warden. Bone Splitter just goes into everything, though, and is, like, genuinely quite good. Um, Sky Hunter Patrol is not bad. 4 mana, 2, 3, Flying First Strike. That's annoying as hell. It's just Bone Splitter is going to go in every single deck. More or less. This card, uh, I really liked as a kid. Because, I mean, it's two, it's a 2-mana two 1-3, but when it's equipped, it gets plus 1, plus 1, and gains Vigilance. So if you put a Bone Splitter on this thing, then it becomes a 4-4. Four four. And that's huge. Yep, that's the reason. And that's the, that's the only reason. It's the only reason why a 12-year-old boy would look at that and be like, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, the Teletubby. The Teletubby Mirror Enforcer. All right, here's a Lara. Um, I can try to just pick a two mana card or two color card. Could take either Sworn Shield Mage. This card is genuinely pretty good. Three mana, two, two flash. ETB, prevent all damage would be Delta artifact creatures this turn. So the floor is it's a three mana, two, two that just 
blocks and doesn't die. Um, Colossomite's pretty good. Yeah, not super excited in Arden Plea. I think I'm taking the Shield Mage. It's just like good by itself, and if we draft Artifact Matters cards, then we're going to be in a pretty good spot. Ooh. <clears throat> so we got Chrome Steed, which is a lot better than it looks. 4 mana 2 2 Metalcraft becomes a 4 4. We've got Nurok and Visimancer, which I think is actually going to be my pick. 3 mana 2 1 can't be blocked when it ETBs. Target creature can't be blocked. So if I end up taking this and we go like blue white evasive uh, with a bunch of equipment, then uh, great. I think it's Sith or Chrome Steed, but I think Chrome Steed might wheel. I'm going to take the Invisimancer. Taint Strike is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah the Leonin. The original Leonin sure had giant bazongas, I think is what the kids called it. Cat. Which is like, like comical, right? It's just a bunch of old guys. <laughs> it's like the Leonins and Mirrodin are old guys and then tits out. I mean, this is one of my favorite pieces of artwork uh, and magic cards of all time. I love Leon and Sky Hunter. I played so much Leon and Sky Hunter. God, I just I kind of want to put together this old uh, deck, like the old the old standard deck I had, the standard white weenie. Sky Hunter Scaravisher played a lot of that card too. Probably shouldn't have, but you played this on like turn two off a of Chrome Mox. Throw a GTA on it, woo! You're golden. Um, four mana draw a bunch of cards. Peace Strider, four mana three three gain three life. Just divine offering. I feel like I want Peace Strider. Ooh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Looter Avenger, pretty funny. Uh, advanced hover guard, four mana, two, two flyer can pay a blue to give it shroud. Um, quadrupod, four mana, one, four. It's really bad. Thermal navigator is not the worst, or it wasn't the worst. Three mana, two, two, sack and artifact gains flying. I think I want to take this advanced hover guard. Or I could just take the, the, the navigator because it's an artifact. I don't know. There's not going to be as many artifacts to sack as there. Like, I'm, I'm a little worried. Also, this might wheel. I'm going to take this advanced hover guard. Oh. Well, four mana, two things, and an enchantment. Oh. I mean, essence capture is not the worst in this. I'll take essence capture. Mobile Garrison. Three mana, three, two. I could take the Mobile Garrison. Mm. Yeah, I'll take the I'll take the artifact. Played a lot of Lean and Shikari too. Come to think of it, that deck was like a cat deck. An accidental cat deck of, um, oh, I'm going to take you. Two mana, one, one exalted, and you can pay a blue to give it shroud. It's not bad. Did I get a haircut? I did get a haircut. Thank you. I look dapper. <laughs> well, <laughs> little old me. Oh, why did this wheel? Two mana, one, one that taps to give target creature plus X plus X where X is its power. That's pretty good. Uh, I kind of want this Den Guard, though, if I can get more equipment. It's a 2-mana 1-3 that just gets so big. But this... I think I'm going to take the Blade Warden. Blade Warden's kind of cracked. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is its power. 2-mana... This is like an Angelic Page, which... Hands up if you've never played against Angelic Page. Oh, this card got a reprint in something in Jumpstart, so maybe you have. 
Uh, ugh, there's nothing I want here. I'm not a boomer. Okay, but you've probably played against something like this. Like the white creatures that tap to give attacking or blocking creatures a bonus. This art is incredible, by the way. I think it's some of the best in the game. <clears throat> um, yeah, they're shockingly good. Ooh, wait, hold on. I'll take an untamed might. I'll take a divine offering. If we can get that blue green land. What is the Ravnican ghost version? Oh yeah, there's um It's exactly the same, right? Attacking creature plus one plus one. Like anointer champion saw play in standard. Infantry veteran is like one of the OGs. Oh, is the is the Ravnican one? Oh, can the Ravnican one hit uh, anything? Is it closer to like a Kapito moth? <sighs> Tumble magnet, bro. This card rules. There's also Galvanic Blast. The Chrome Chrome Sea didn't wield too. That's worth mentioning. Tumble magnet's really strong. I kind of just want to take another Invisimancer, but that's not the right call. Uh, I'm going to take this Tumble Magnet. I'm not drafting Tainted Strike, Thought Deck. You need so much to kill them with a Tainted Strike. Oh! <laughs> pancakes! Could take Pancakes. If we end up wanting to play green. Uh, I could take other Sworn Cannonist. It's kind of funny. I think I want to take pancakes. Take pancakes and then wheel this Avon. Or just pick up uh pick up as a bant deck. Three mana XL target tap creature. What does this one do? Craft with an artifact. Comes a one four when it attacks, so another creature gains flying. <clears throat> the pup? Um, I'll take a deconstruction hammer. Kills enchantments and artifacts. It's one mana, one one. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna hammer the, I'm gonna hammer the competition. I'm going to hammer the competition. Time to get hammered. Time to get hammered. Oh, there is a pacifism. Yoink. <laughs> I was trying to do the Godskin duo song and then I just turned into um Rocket hideout. I don't know. Ooh, spine thopter. Oh, there's hover mirror. I'm gonna take spine thopter. Sounded like Ave Maria. <laughs> Imagine you just walk through a door in Dark Souls and the boss starts coming close to you and it just goes and <laughs> starts playing Ave Maria. Dodge rolling, <laughs> trying to get out of the AOE. <laughs> yeah, I'm closing out. Fuck this, I'm not ready. <laughs> uh, 
Astral Clock Tower? Hmm. I like that boss fight. It was a shame that I did it in one. <laughs> well of Lost Dreams? Actually, this card is the real, the real pickup is going to be Nurok Prodigy. I had a good Well of Lost Dreams deck too. Fuck, I just, I played, I, I keep looking at all the cards from my childhood and it's, um, yeah, it's doing some things for me. It's very good. It's very good. Terran Ghost is not that bad. But I want that three power. Cards from my childhood or artifacts from my past? Why not both? The cards of my childhood are the artifacts of the past. I had a buddy with a green white Loxodon Warhammer Ageless Entity Well Lost Dreams deck. It's kind of annoying. Couldn't beat it with a red deck. Oh, well, I'm taking this two mana 2-2 two -two with uh, lifelink. Uh-huh. Honestly, I might not play green. But if we can splash it, it's fine. <sighs> mm. Twisted Image. Screeching Still Claw. Oh, another Untamed Might. I don't think I wanted two, though. Might not even play one. But I might play the Still Claw. It is just Stormcrow. Uh, Angel Song could be pretty good. Catch them off guard. Could take this Aven. If I'm, if I'm splashing, if I end up splashing green, this Aven's not the worst thing to play. 2-4 Exalted Flying is pretty strong. <laughs> What's an OTJ card uh, that you want to grab, chat? Surprised we haven't got Exalted Return. I mean, they brought it back once. It does tend to gum up the board. That's like the big eggs, issue. Eggs, uh, I don't know if I need another three, but the fact that I can Mischievous Pup my Invisimancer or Tumble Magnet's kind of appealing. I'm going to take that. Does Mana Drain count? No. Eggs, I mean, eggs, yeah, sure, why not? Eggs. Murph, welcome back for the 35th month. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you for all the support. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are doing well. Yeah, that Encore Angel is pretty cool. Jules, welcome back for the 54th month. Holy smokes. Hey, Ben. Hey, chat. Enjoy the artifacts. I'm trying. I've Instead of enjoying the artifacts, I've been enjoying the... Um, well, I've been enjoying the, the idiots, the flyers. This card's actually a two drop. We're probably not playing this, but we might. Who knows? Potentially getting a new job made me forget that the shitty game store I had an over two hundred dollars store credit went out in December, and you found out only now. That's why you never float too much credit. You gotta stay liquid with it. that stinks <laughs> why is this always here oh this is sick two mana one one pro artifacts it can't hold equipment but it has flying and i can maybe wheel my crab i'm gonna take the angelic curator good with uh exalted good on defense also some of the f best art in the game Greg Staples, just the OG of this art from Sog or from Legacy. Sheesh. Sheesh. Mm. 
Full shock morning star? Actually, Landon Bull is pretty sick. I think I'm taking Juggernaut though. Big jugs. Oh god, I love Arcbound Feet. The artwork on this card is so incredible. Get yourself a foil copy of Arcbound Fiend. It looks so good. Thought Dissector is a really bad magic card. Landon Bull is really good. One mana, uh tap, unattach it, tap a creature. Equip cost for one. I'm going to take Juggernaut here, but I really hope Bolo wheels. If Bolo doesn't wheel, I'll play Volshock Morningstar. It's no, um, uh, Volshock Battle Gear is like really good. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not in these colors. Fuck. <sighs> I can't double splash. I don't think I even need to single splash. Uh, sacrifice just one thing. I'll take the Scion. Oh yeah, keep keep the big idiots coming. <clears throat> I'll play a five mana three four flyer. I get acrobatic maneuver. This card actually seems pretty all right in our deck. We got Peace Strider, Ether Sworn, Invisimancer, Scion. Um, that's it. Okay. I I saw this. This is a Klug altered uh Ragvan nimble pilfer. And I like the concept. But as somebody that stares at old Pokemon cards, ooh, Sky Hunter Cub, yes please. Somebody that stares at old Pokemon cards. There is a part about this that is making me a little like, oh, that's not. The, the sizing's a little off and awkward, and the like I it it's very impressive. And it's it's gonna be somebody's like the you know, I mean shit, the the auction for this is already at a grand. But um yeah. It is throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, it's very uncanny because it's just not how Pokemon cards are formatted. And it's missing a lot of the other information. You know? It's one of these things where it's like if you look at old Pokemon cards a lot, then everything that's missing and like off jumps out. But if you played when you were a kid and you're like, hell yeah, uh, then it's going to it's gonna be right up your alley. But what about me? Yeah, the dash is off. Is the dash off center? The dash. Like if this was formatted, who's a Pokemon? I mean, Charizard is actually just like a good example because Charizard has. Yeah, Charizard has the like. Pokemon power plus because it's trying to this line of this text is kind of set up to be like Pokemon excuse me Pokemon power but the the one I mean yeah the one looks a little weird next to this I get why it's set up the way it is I'll take a second hammer I get the why it the way it is why it is the way it is but it is uncanny. 
I have my Charizard on. I mean, I have the Coughing Binder. Coughing Binder's coming along pretty well. Picked up a bunch of new coughings. Ooh. Um. Turn Courage Against Flying. A lot of my cards already have flying. This is a two drop creature. I'm at 24, so I would want to cut a card. I'm probably cutting that. I think I want the power. Well, I'm going to take this Deadly Repost. Repost feels like it's much better. If I can find a card. I mean, this looks like what my. My deck is going to be. But if I could replace Essence Capture with something, I'd be pretty happy. <sighs> Let's take a look at the, the Coughing Binder. See how it's coming along. I'll take a Bottle Gnomes or a Bottle Golems. Trample. Uh, keeps going. There we go. I need a couple more to fill, finish this binder. Uh, what do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, three, four. Play the pixie guy. Uh, 56, 70, 126. I need about 126 more coughings and I finish that binder. Uh, power flapjack thing for the 100 bits. I should fart on it a few times to really complete the vibe. Oh, thank you for... I think I'm good. Um, I think I'm good. But I appreciate the device. The device. I appreciate the device. <laughs> I appreciate the advice or the suggestion. Mm. Yeah, this doesn't look that bad. I'd play this. All right. Six blue. I feel like I want to go at least 10 and seven. Yeah, I got double blue cards. I don't have a huge amount of blue, but I think this is what I want to be doing. Oi, Rob. Uh, this is our second draft. We 3 0 the first one. Yeah. Do I have any German foil coughings? No, but I have this. I have my PSA Gem Mint Perfect 10 First Edition German coughing from Base Set. Does that count? Slabbed up. Oh, yeah, I'll keep this in. Such a goddamn flex. It's a pretty good one. I almost, uh, I at the store for this event that we were at uh, over the weekend in Bellingham, um, I got so excited because I was looking, they had a bunch of old Pokemon cards. I ended up getting some stuff. I got all these coughings and I picked up my final copy of Steelix. For actually a pretty good price. Um, hashtag non-spawn, but a great store nonetheless. And uh, I had a... Uh, I, I was asking, like, unless they had coughings, because I collect coughings, and they're like, do you, how do you do for grade? And I'm like, well, I mean, if you got a gem mint 10, and the guy was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I just, like, started immediately, like, whipped around to go through the back stock, and I was like... Please, 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 please. They did not. It was a uh, Metapod <laughs> instead. Oh, I'll make it down to Portland sometime soon. Is there a Command Fest Portland this year? For all the Laughing Dragon stuff, I like could probably... Portland? Oh, that's... I can't do that. <laughs> Don't think I can do that. Or is this Portland 2023? 
I think that's Portland 2023. Is there a Command Fest Portland? Uh, I'll be at SeaTac, the uh, Command Fest um, Tacoma in June. Wait, am I going to be in Amsterdam? Magic, Magic Con Amsterdam. There's too much shit this year. I mean, I'm all for it, but you know. My baby, my baby. I fucking love lore scale coddle. God, I love lore scale coddle. Uh, when is Amsterdam? I should make a big like um, June twenty eighth to thirtieth. So that means that I would be in Tacoma for the weekend, and then the very next week I'm in Amsterdam. I might. Oh God. <laughs> Do I need a German land tax? No, I'm good. I got a I got a signed one. But thank you. <laughs> Finally, we can get rid of it. I don't know. Buying old Pokemon cards is interesting because, like, there are certain things that have been really juiced because of... I mean, everything kind of went up because of the whole, like, craze at the start of the pandemic. Ooh, this card's fucked. Especially with the snake. We are equipping. Oh, please let this happen. Please let this just be an absolute blowout. Oh my god. Okay. So I so all damage that would be dealt to artifact creatures this turn is prevented. It is now a 3-3, and I'm blocking their creature. <laughs> Woo! Not bad, huh? Not bad. And I guess I should have attacked with everything. But... Uh, Hugh Draw, thank you for the $5.69 tip. Apropos to too much shit this year, super excited for Amsterdam. Do I think I'll be getting EDH games in with a rodeo? Yeah. When I'm in Amsterdam, I am going to be doing Commander and Highlander. And, like, I imagine we'll have, like, a big signing day or whatever. Um, she even says he's very close to Amsterdam, which, I don't know, even if we end up in Amsterdam, I don't know if I want to do, like, if we both end up there, don't know if I necess necessarily want to do a live stream in Wheeler Love Magic. Because on one hand, it would be cool to do a live one there. But on the other hand... There are so many people, at least for me, right? Like a huge, we can't anyway, time pass to submit. Off the hook, baby, let's go. Woo! Yes, yes, let's go! Off the hook! Yeah, exactly. I just want to spend more time meeting folks that I have not seen and that have been... Kiefer says I'm spending more time with the high part of Highlander and goes, haha. <clears throat> I well that's why there's Shivman Wheeler love magic, but Shivman Wheeler hate their room <laughs> hate their own podcast. Uh yeah, no, I just I don't know. They're like a large portion of my audience, more than you would expect, is European. And so I want to hang out with them. I want to jam games with them. I'll jam. I'm jamming commander games. I'll jam. Uh, you know, I almost said standard. I'll jam commander. I'll jam uh, Highlander. I'll play games. Are there any Europeans here you should go to sleep? Oh, there's they're here. <laughs> Although some of them might not want to admit it. 
<clears throat> yeah, there's a bunch of them that should sleep. And every time they're like, <laughs> every time I'm reminded that some of the people uh, that are, you know, watching, they're like, yeah, I should be doing this and this, but you know, um, because it's three in the morning and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Please go to bed. I'm begging you. I feel like I started acting like a mum. Uh, I don't, I can't keep this hand. This one I can keep. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it. But I read all of your speech out like Daddy Magic Quebecois style. Thank you. What do you mean? Do you have a dish, like something beyond that or just that? PSA about Dutch weed. It's very often that musicians come to abroad to Netherlands and they smoke and they perform really bad. I mean, I just don't, don't you worry. Yeah, but that's because there are a lot of Americans or like Europeans or not, not Europe, not like, you know, British. I'll be fine. Oh, shit. Yeah, BC weed is powerful. Yeah, it's, uh... It's pretty goofy. They put out ads telling British tourists to fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Uh, Pat and Moore back for the 54th month. How are you doing? How you been? Glad to have you and may I say good to see you. Thank you for the support. Not Italian tourists? Look, I'm not here to besmirch Italy. I will, yeah, I will brace myself. Don't worry. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I've talked about it before. I don't know if it's doxing at this point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sheesh. Sheesh. Dutch people can't... Dutch people can't speak Italian? True or false? Oh, my juggernaut. Juggernaut. Attack me. Do something. Draw a planes or bone splitter. A second hammer, huh? Well... Is there anything I want to do or see in Amsterdam that isn't Magic Con? Uh, I mean, I'm going to be over there for more than just the week. And there are some things I have in mind. Some places outside of Amsterdam that I would like to go. I'd like to visit. I'd like to visit Germany. Um, and I'm also going to be... I'm in good hands. I'm in good hands. Uh-oh. My opponent has learned how to build the abyss. Oh, yes. I will have the German... I, I will partake in, in so many German foils. I mean, I can't get over to Europe and not go to Germany. Do you know how many foils I'm going to... I'm going to ship so much crap there. I'm going to sell... And get Just get rid of it. Well, not... I'm probably going to sell it beforehand. And then convert it into some nice German foils. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's brutal. Although they might actually, depending on what they do, they might get a free attack in here. Oh shit. That's kind of funny. If they attack with everything here, then I can redevelop and play a deadly repost on uh, the coddle. The quaddle. Oh no, they can make it a big. Never mind. I'm deadly reposting on the snare thopter. That was a hell of a play. Bounce your board and then play a 3 2 haste. I'm losing this game now. Yeah, wait a minute. I'm losing this game. Um. Shane Lee attack. Welcome back for the third year. How are you doing? There it is. Three years with the bong jammer himself. <laughs> you rang. Uh, thank you for the sport. How are you doing? How are you been? Glad to have you and may I say good to see you. This is so fucked up. I mean, I, I, when I saw this card, I'm like, okay, that's actually, that's fine. As long as it's not anything too big. The fact that it was something uh, that I had to deal with immediately. We can get the planar disruption. Oh, that's so good. That is so annoying. I'm taking eight here. <sighs> yeah, I can technically survive. We need planar disruption. Don't want to jump because I think this Invismancer is genuinely how we win this game. Um, play this, play this, attack for three. I think I have to add that. I think I have to get rid of the second hammer. Because the next turn I can go Spine Thopter, Shield Mage, block, block. And then potentially kill them on the crackback. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. I could drop planar disruption. It makes my life a little bit easier. Could draw bottle gnomes. Bottle golems. They could also just have a counter spell in their blue green deck. This could be the last card. We go to nine and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven damage with the deconstruction hammer. If we draw a bone splitter, they're dead and they have nothing. I could be down to kill them with a bone splitter. No, don't play a magic card. That's cringe. I mean, this card's okay. You can you can play this. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shoot about this. I don't give a flying heck about this. I have a counter spell, then I do give a heck. Okay, sick fog. Bone splitter? No, but that's a good draw. That lets us brick again. I am tied up on white mana. But that should be fine. I think I like... Mm. Has the music been playing consistently? Why does it feel like that is not the case? Well, it looks like it's still going. They're putting the Spectre Shroud on the Blighted Agent. I don't care about that. I mean, it's kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Attacking with everything. I'm going to go to blocks. Blocks that, that blocks that. Eggs, eggs. <clears throat> I'm going to acrobatic eggs. maneuver this.
And then we take two infect. We're gonna discard an island. Got two cards in hand. Casting a spell. Ooh, a Nurok Prodigy. That's annoying. It's actually really annoying. Can I kill you now? And now I have to threaten to kill them. Uh, it had to be a flyer. No, I can't win. Shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. There's no first strike. I mean, I can hit them for three. Play the bottle gnomes or bottle golems. And then I can only block one of these. Is there a world where I can threaten to kill them? Like this. Yeah, let's try this. Coral and B eggs? Yeah, agreed. Yeah, agreed. 100%. 100%. Alright, they did not block. Hmm, I don't think I have much. I mean, we have Tumble Magnet. We have ways of getting around this. I think our deck's pretty well positioned. Attack Cowboy, welcome back for the fifth year. Oh, so it's my quarterly review here, too? <laughs> quarterly? Like, quarter for two decades, yes. Uh, thank you for all the support. Jesus Christ, we've been doing this for five years, huh? Been doing this for five years. Five years. Five full years. Five years. It's a long ass time. Ah. Only since 2019. Uh, five more? No, I said... Um, I said three more. Eight. Eight years is what I gave myself. I gave myself eight years. Hello, opponent? Hello? What happens after that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get that far. Profit? Oh. Imagine doing this for eight years and then <laughs> only at the very end are you like, great, now I can make money off this. Why is this gag a German foil? So are they cheaper? Oh, it's not a gag. That's the very straightforward rundown of it. The monkey is now very pricey. I mean, Klug is like the, like, uh, they're the best known altruist, right? I think that's relatively fair to say. This monkey is now $2,000. Well, that's cool, I guess. I too wish I had that kind of disposable income for something like that. Uh, oh, this hand smacks. I'm going to keep. I'll give you $10 a day to sit at my LGS and be a human scryfall retirement plan all set. I mean, if I were retired, like, 
I, if I ever can even retire. <laughs> but that would absolutely be what I, I would want to do. I don't know if I'll be ever, if I will ever be able to actually like, okay. So in a world where I do retire, I don't know if I'd be able to do nothing because that's like my mom retired and then all she wants to do is, uh, <laughs> she wants to do is, um, uh, what should I call it? She just, she's got to work. She wants to work. I mean, my dad just falls asleep all the time, but you know. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Smack. Dragon creature gets plus four, plus two. Your go. Snake. No. Um. Oh, I should have thought about this more, but I'll, I'll trade with your snake. I shouldn't have played the Juggernaut. I should have just attacked, but I'll trade with the snake. Nearly a century and three quarters ago. The world is very different now. For man holds so, yeah, if if and there's a world where I do retire, I still am going to be like, I'll just, I want to keep myself busy. And if somebody's like, hey, Ben, we'll set up a really nice cushion. Like, we'll get you a chaise lounge in this LGS to be... <laughs> human scryfall that comes with trivia then by all means uh, i'm down to clam the belief that the rights of man come not from the generosity of the state but from the hand of god i feel like they're going to hit me with the brawl's expertise that we are the heirs of that first revolution let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike Okay. Just gonna jump block. Okay. What is playing for music? Oh, is it the inauguration? Oh no! Fuck! I just closed it. <laughs> oh no! I need to just download all the music onto this computer again. It was probably the JFK. Yeah, it was a JFK inauguration. <laughs> I love that I, you said, by the way, JFK. Yeah, but AMC, you've become very cryptic in your old age. So sometimes I see something like that. I don't know what the hell you're trying to tell me. Twenty-six. Uh, well, in your older age. It's nice that we at least have a target that can't get hit by the Brawl's expertise. Oh, that card's annoying. Card's very annoying. You gonna equip? really need to draw a blue i feel like i am going to reset the juggernaut though uh, i'm gonna do this now cash in the card try to get a blue if i get a blue then we're really cooking beast rider this piece is what all true warriors strive for Yeah, I'll get a little nasty with it. I'll push damage. Fuck yeah. Ooh, fuck yeah, I'll push damage, bud. You want to take a bajillion? Take a bajillion.
think I'm going to play the Peace Strider and keep up the blue so I still have something in play, even if they brawl's expertise. Anul! Oh. I'm Gabe Anul. All right, well, we just need to get this Narok and Visimancer and we'll be fine. Or we could just get this Harrier. Oh, no, Drill Skin. Really need to get the second blue for this. What does that mean for you? 26 isn't actually old. It's just, you got to understand some of you, I have genuinely watched some of you go from high school to you have completed your post-secondary education. So how, how do you think that makes me feel? How old does you, do you think that makes me feel? Perfect draw. I think I'm just going to do this. bird the bird machine people <laughs> wheeler i just mean i've you know there are people that have genuinely they started like they showed up in the channel at a younger younger age not even necessarily that young right like you know they're not even talking about 18 year olds there are people that showed up that were like they're 25 and now they are 30 and have a kid It's a long time. Five years is a long time. Uh, Eldrazi Dwarf, welcome back for the sixth month. Glad to have you. How are you doing? How you been? Good to see you. Thank you so much for the support. Half a year. yo zowie. You can rent a car in a hotel room and I can't do that. Well, tell you what. If you ever need me to boot for you. You're four and a half years old when I started watching. Now I'm having my second child. Exactly. See, you know, time flies. Time flies. I'm not blocking this. At least her community is mostly gay, so I won't have anyone coming up to me in a convention to show me their child they named Baby Nutta. No, that'll still happen. That'll 100% still happen. Oh, I screwed up. I had lethal. Shit. I was supposed to pump and then move the hammer over. Whoops. Whoops. Eh, I feel like I'm probably in an okay spot, though. All right. If I lose, it's because of this bit. They can play Baral's expertise and try to bounce everything. And then I can just give this shroud. Which is pretty cool. Adopting and renaming your child to Baby Nutta. <laughs> you know how there's the, the like the um, the meme where somebody takes a Wiimote and has it play the like Super Smash Brothers brawl voice. Um, they said GGs enjoyed them. Good luck in the future. 
I'll believe them. Unless they're trying to get me. Got to go to damage first. Um, yeah, the extremely crunchy kind of one where there's like one for Austin Powers. That's really well known. We need one for Baby Nutta. And it's just, you know, Baby Nutta. And then uh, the little noise that plays is me talking about ranch dressing. Because I believe that was the original Baby Nutta issue. Or issue. It was the thing. Somebody gave me money and they're like, please talk about ranch dressing. It's like, okay. You paid the twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. Obliterator. Wait, what? Do you drive mono black? Mono black? I would like to go first. Ugh. I'm gonna mulligan. This hand's great. Although it does have a bunch of four drops. A bottle of gold. Take the clipper, Foxy says baby nut and make it crunch. Baby Nutta? Baby Nutta. Have I uh, told the story of what I did when Brawl came out? <laughs> it's not much of a story. Just my buddy and I were big. Uh, we were big fans. Did you? We're big fans of Smash Bros. Right? Um... And we had a, uh, there was a midnight launch for Brawl. Remember when these happened? Remember when there were midnight launches for games? So technically it was out on the Sunday, but Saturday night at midnight, Brawl was released. Um, and we decided that what we were going to do is we were both going to get it at midnight and we were going to stay up until we unlocked every single character, basically. And I, I think it must have been a pro D day as well. Like the Monday was a pro D day and we're like, even if it takes us that long. So we both got copies of Brawl at midnight. We went back to my buddy's place. He, we had set up. We had set up two couches side by side, two TVs side by side, and we were just playing Brawl, just trying to like go through the story and everything and unlocking all the characters and doing everything that we can to unlock every single character. Um, and we just ate so many bags of sweet chili heat. It was kind of disgusting. So much Dr. Pepper was drank that weekend. Uh, and around, like, I want to say 5 a.m. in the morning, we decided to make firecrackers. <laughs> Does anybody know what firecrackers are? Firecrackers are edibles. Uh, where you take like a graham cracker and you 
slather it with peanut butter on one side, Nutella on the other, and you put a bunch of weed in the middle and you bake it. And we got really high. And kept playing. Um, we got really high and kept playing. And it was eight, it was like 8.30 on the, on Sunday night where we had been up since like, we had been up for all of Saturday, obviously. And then I, by like eight o'clock on the Sunday, we had not slept and I had unlocked every character or I think almost every character. And then I was like, finally, I can fucking go home. I go home. All I remember is going through the door, telling my mom I can't eat dinner and then going to bed and sleeping for 15 hours. <laughs> it was pretty great. Honestly, pretty great. Don't you dare wrath of God me. I don't. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Nap time. Uh, I think I do this. All right. I don't even think they read the card. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was great. Oh, it was great. I, I liked Brawl. I played Brawl. I mean, it had a lot of bad, right? Uh, Meta Knight, loops, tripping, bunch of stuff. But I, I enjoyed the game. I, I thought it was fun. I don't remember ever having bad a bad time playing Smash Brothers Brawl. Oh, this is a little unfortunate. Let's do that. I didn't want to have the mulligan to five. Yeah, it was all right. I think it was mostly hated because it was like seven years of melee. Yeah, I gotta imagine it was hate like. Again, the genuine reasons to dislike the competitive side of it, but I mean, come on, how much how much Smash Bros. even at that time was even played competitively? Very little. <laughs> Meta Knight was yeah, Meta Knight was crack. Are you not doing anything on turn three? I'm going to need to draw land here. Going to need to draw land here. I didn't play the last Smash Bros. Which is wild. Usually. I, this card's unbeatable, by the way. This card is unbeatable. All right, we found a way to maybe beat it. But I can't equip it because it's pro artifacts. I'm on a mold of five. I might just concede. I mean, I won game one. There's no point in conceding. I can at least maybe see more of my opponent's deck. Like, who knows? We could play Juggernaut and then draw the Narok and Vizimancer. Sure. That's fine. They kill this card. Okay, it's not good, but you know, maybe. Now I know they're a Bant deck. Did not know they were a Bant deck. Pre-combat, you're casting a card. Garden Veil Paladin. 1T Malison. Yeah, I'm getting to see all their cards. Oh, am I still winning this game? 
I don't think I'm winning this game. I saved the shield mage because I wanted to hide as much information as possible, especially from a combat trick. If I put that on that, one, two. No, I don't think I'm, well. Here, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I can play like Peace Strider, which kind of blocks their board. We might be able to actually come out of this. It's unlikely. If they play, they basically just have to not have any more cards. And they get to scry one off this Malison. I just don't like have a huge amount of time for like gay. I, I have... Oh, Glass Dusk Hulk. I killed so many people with this card. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll play a Peace Strider. We can keep this, keep this going. Um, yeah, I just like, I spend all day on the computer for work. The last thing I want to do is spend time off the computer. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or the last thing I want to do is spend more time playing a game when I'm, you know, off work or whatever. Uh, no, I'm dead. Uh, I could divine offering this. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep playing. Would have loved to. Uh, if I had drawn another white, we might be in this game. Because we can just take a bunch of hits from this. Okay, we might be in this game. Very unlikely if they drew a threat. That trades with that. Uh, we can gain some life with this. I play this. Chump block that, chump block that, kill that. If I kill... I can, I, killing this gets a bigger thing off the board. I go to four. And I play this, we go back to two, and we block, block, and I take two. So I have to kill this. In hindsight, playing out the shield mage was maybe better. I felt like I genuinely, I forgot about the planar disruption, and I felt like I was just going to lose anyways. So I wanted to hide information, but now I'm like kind of doing it. And they're like throwing things into the grinder. Like if they have nothing here. Yeah, they have a thing. Uh, oh, block and blink. Can I gain another three? But then I take one. Oh, fuck. I mean, maybe I can hit something. I don't know. What can we hit here? Go up to four. That blocks that. I take four. They saw this last game. So I'm fine doing this. Okay, it's good to know we have tech for Elspeth, though. Um, yeah, I think I just run it back. We mulligan to five. Uh, yeah, I like this hand. We're not currently casting much that quickly. The tumble magnet's a hell of a magic card. I did see the yes, I saw the German final showdown. I did. I got tagged in it about five times. Recycled. Oh, we got a flyer to one flyer. Great. I'm going to need another blue at some point. Well, we got four power in the air. That's not bad. That can pressure Elspeth if they Elspeth on curve. And I don't care about this. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, blue-white skies. Take me home. Take me home, country road to the blame where I was born. God, this is all I want to do. <laughs> Three pi- Woo! <laughs> Uh, this is all I want to do. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Can't beat the birds. Cannot beat the birds. We're in Fallout? Huh? What about Fallout? I have not watched Fallout. I don't really have any intention watching Fallout. <laughs> so we'll go first. That's a good name. If he dies, he dies. Oh, sick. We have the combo. The sand's, the sand's dope. I don't know what it would take me to play Fallout on stream again. But I have, I have a bunch of them, I think. Right? Do I just have one? I just have New Vegas. I played 31 minutes of it. Not sure what it would take. I played 31 minutes of this game. Look, I got to beat Elden Ring. Not on stream, I know. I got to I got to beat Elden Ring again on stream. I want to play the wonderful 101. I would like to do a, a Street Fighter stream. I think that would be fun. I keep playing Street Fighter and I keep ranking up in Street Fighter, so it was like something that would be kind of interesting. Is Take Me Hold Country Road and Fallout games? Well, I don't know. It's John Denver. I play Lily. I'm currently Diamond 4 with Lily. I don't know if Krim still plays. I hope he does. Look at this. Now, I just got a 4-4 flyer. Mm. I kind of want to play the curator and then put the hammer on the warden. Or I could do this. Go that, that, that. Then hammer on the warden. This card's absurd, by the way. Like, it's target creature, so you can target itself, so this blocks is a 4-4. Four, four. The main reason I want to see you play New Vegas is because it's very cowboy country theme. Yeah, I mean, look, I like the theme. I, the gameplay didn't do it for me in the 31 minutes. I don't know, I'll give it another shot. I'll give it I'll give it another look see. I also bought these Mass Effect games for 10 bucks. I got the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. <clears throat> may have to do uh may have something to do with Jacob uh talking about Mass Effect all the time. You played a 4/5 reach. Jesus Christ. That's a toughie. But I can at least push through. Gameplay was dated when it came out. 
No, my baby. All right, I think I lose this, unless I can answer this card. If I can answer the Altasaur, then I think I'm fine. Like, the Spine Thopter can push through with the Blade Warden. But this thing is just fucking brutal. Mutually assured crimming? That's when Krim and I are in the same... <laughs> Mutually assured crimming is when we're in the same room and we just start that perpetual like motion device kind of vibe. Dude, should I do this? Dude, I think you should do that. It'd be kind of funny if you did it, dude. I'll try to block. If they have a pump spell, then I'm got I yeah, I just get got. Oh. That's pretty good. That's a lot of damage. This stupid card. I attack for three. If I keep this back, what if I attack you for two? Block that four, five, six. Yeah. I think this is the only way I win. Oh no. It's a lot of... What? If we draw Bone Splitter, we can kill them. Or Deconstruction Hammer. We can deal five. Maybe I shouldn't have moved the, the hammer off my cub. I don't know. There's It's hard to play around any kind of removal in a Chaos Draft. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Dobbs, right? Get back. Get a token. Token gains haste. Mana value. I could peck this and then play two blockers, but they just have this. Playing this card on turn four really schmucked me. Mm. Yeah, let's run it back. so big four five reach on four it's too big too big for my britches peach players plums or oranges oh, i gotta get my fucking laundry one sec jesus i forgot the laundry
Take me home, cross the road Where the friends <sighs> Yummy here I did have to get my laundry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, hex gold card. Don't want to play the cub while they have open red. Want to play the cub and then equip. They do nothing. That's a different story. Oh, the twin claws, Basil. Five in the air. <clears throat> All right. So this is when they attack and they play some pump spells. And as long as they don't get it to 10, uh, we'll be fine. Great. Don't play the Altasaur. Yeah, I don't care about that. Gonna gain some life. Bullet. <clears throat> Isn't Bullet um one of those like Remember when they made, dude, remember when they made Bowser like a smoke show? Dude, remember when the horniest people got together and made Bowser an absolute smoke show? They did King Boo? Hold on. King Boo Smoke Show. What what what's the King Boo one called? Princess Boo? Why are people this horny? Oh, put that t It's cuz she's sticking her tongue out. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Waluigi and Wario. Remember when Bowser? Bowser? Gay Luigi? Mm hmm. Take me bone. Splitter Road. <laughs> Wet Virginia! <laughs> and Alort, welcome back for the 11th month. How you doing? Some of the cards coming out soon really help your abs and toxic deck. Ooh, pray tell. Pray tell, what cards beeth these? Don't hex gold slash me. Oh, they had the heck. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, I've played a lot of bone splitters in my day. I've cast a lot of bone splitters in my day. Well, sir, 
I've cast a lot of bone splitters in my day. What cards are coming out that make Abzan toxic? Oh, I'm going to slap this onto you. <clears throat> <laughs> Win all the mana screw games. Congrats. I mean, game's not over. <clears throat> you know, game's not over yet. Good draw out. But yeah, these drafts seem to be not great with the mana. My opponent salted out in chat a bit. I mean, I have three one mana green searchers, two land cyclers, and some. I don't know what this is. Two one of the searches, but yeah, I thought the same thing as you before this draft. Okay. Oh, I know. She's already here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can do twelve damage next turn. If I draw a deconstruction hammer, they're dead. Right on schedule. MTGO salt on load. <laughs> Oh, I'm not, I don't know. They're just kind of having a shit day. They're not, they're not mad at me or whatever. I mean, maybe they are. Well, too bad. They fucking suck. Anyways. Woo. <laughs> parody, 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 parody. Please, I am not a toxic gamer. Uh-huh. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Your honor in Minecraft. All right, let's do one more. If I could rack up three trophies, I'll be happy. Want uppies? Mulder want uppies? I'm going to give you uppies. I got to take off this jacket. <laughs> Let me make room for you. Let me make room. There you go. Come here. Yeah. Come here. You can come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. Come here. I'm trying to move the keyboard, but your feet are in the way. Yeah, I'm not picking you up, you dumbass. No, 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 no. You're fine. Yeah, there you go. Look. Got all the room in the world, and I'm going to show you off to chat. Mm-hmm. What's this? Now you're going? What the hell? Thought we had something, babe. Yeah, Mulder's a real weirdo. Mulder's a real weirdo. Thank you. 
Mulder is a real fucking weirdo. Dude, you ever notice how weird Mulder is? Dude. You ever realize how weird Mulder is? Where's the eighth person for this draft? I need to get three. Look at this. Look at this. Leading the, the top five in the trophy board. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. Top six in the trophy board. Come on. Papa needs a new trophy. Papa needs another trophy. Papa needs a brand new trophy. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that good shit. Or I'll take bad shit too. How you doing, chat? How you doing? I'm waiting. I'm chilling. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Need to make an altar of a food token that's just a JPEG of some Olive Garden breadsticks. What about a food that is like a uh, big meat with bone? What do you mean anime meat? Like this. Why is this called anime meat? Do they have no respect for where that came from? Yeah, this is like, actually it's manga meat. <laughs> actually it's J it's dragon quest meat. Would I buy secret lair fight at the olive garden? Sure. Why not? When they're, when you're there, your family. Holy fuck. Can somebody jump? Okie dokie. Six man to six, six. Trample. And you draw a card for other dinos. There's also Jade Light Spelunkies. I think I'm taking old Spelunker right here. Big magic card. Splashable rare. Big card. Oh, you're making an Atali? An Atali commander deck, and so you want to have the premier Italian American food. Olive Garden. Hey, when do is the OTG pre-release this weekend? Like, can I buy OTJ cards from stores? Um, Pima Outrider is cracked, so I think I'm gonna take this. <clears throat> or I can take Gerbil here. Four minute four four trample or the fabricate. Yeah, I'm gonna take a Pima Outrider. 
Of all the things you could have taken from us, Olive Garden. Hey, don't blame me. Don't blame me. I had nothing to do with this. I don't want anything to do with Olive Garden. Ooh, Fangrin Marauder. Oh, there's a Phyrexian Rager. Never mind. Yoink. Draws a card. Never mind. It draws a card. Ooh, I need to make an order for some of these extended art foil commanders. Yeah, the, the Outriders are cracked. Any German foils I want from this set? I mean, yeah. Um... Mostly full, I've been really into the full art foils, like the extended art foils. What's the story? Wish Claw. Uh, I'm not taking Wish Claw. Unless I get some sacrificing stuff. Don't think that's happening. Ginger Root's kind of interesting. I think Out Muscle is the card though. Counters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out Muscle. Ultimate Muscle. Get in here. <clears throat> I like both of the armadillos. I even talked about one of them on the North 100 set review, and uh, it was brought up as the, it was brought up that I was talking about this. I was like, "Why are we talking about this?" I'm like, "I don't know. I just like it. I think it's neat." Shock. Uh, we could take shock, or we could take resourceful return. We gotta take resourceful return. Two mana rebuying a creature, and if we have an artifact draw a card, I'll take that. I feel like I'm gonna be doing crap like this. Um, I really want a full art foil, full art foil of Marchesa Dealer of Death and Bonnie Paul, Bonnie Pal Clear Cutter. Those are the two big ones. Probably Claim Jumper, too. <laughs> Door to nothingness. Uh, I'm going to be taking the Silvok Explorer. It's a two mana mana dork. I don't want to take the door. The door is going to be impossible to play in this format. And I want to get another, I want to get three trophies so I don't have to draft this again. Not to say I'm not having fun. I, I am enjoying these drafts, but I know it's the door. Oh, and what's her name? Um, are you fucking kidding me? There's no full art foil. Oh, there is. Of Ty Joaquin Perfect Shot. Ty Joaquin Perfect Shot. Um... Whoa. Eggs. I mean, you could do Enchantress with this. Eh. I'm like not playing any of these cards. <laughs> oh, I'll take the Cobra. Makes an artifact. Sibwell, welcome back for the 55th month. So I take it you're enjoying the chaos traps. Then. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, they're fine. We had the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky. This is the William Tell Overture by Rossini. Ooh. Oof. Boy, howdy, I'm pooped. We did get to the JFK. What? There's no no respect. It's a Colossal Dread mod. This card's going to win games. No, we skipped over the... We skipped over the JFK inauguration. 
How ha how big are Combo's hands? Yowie hands? Oh my god. Uh. That is huge. I mean, I don't disagree. They are big. But, you know. Not as big as this Hexblade Golem. Is Magicon Amsterdam all sold out? Black Lotus is sold out. That's sold out. Everything is sold out. You can buy a single day badge. Can I buy the kids weekend? You think they're going to open it up to more people? Could you buy three single day badges? <laughs> Somebody could buy three single day badges, surely. Oh, you could buy Friday and Sunday, no Saturday. Yeah, they they they're gonna be surely they have to add a, a bit more. Come to the SF six tournament in your town. There's a two K pot bonus. Where do you live? Also, I'm not that good at Street Fighter. I wouldn't mind playing in a Street Fighter lo like a, a local. I like playing in tournaments. All right, you fucking D-Gens. In Launce Launceston? Launceston, Tasmania. Flights to Tasmania. Hmm. So it's a 20 hour flight. Wait, no, hold on. Why does Expedia say there's a $52 flight to Tasmania? This, okay, cool. So I could get a flight uh, for, I could get actual round trip 1600 bucks to Tasmania. Well, I'm going to take this big boat. Am I going to Tasmania this year? I never miss it, Illusion. It's just me and a bunch of women married to the worst men you've ever met. And they all have leather jackets with Taz, the Tasmanian devil on the back. I'm going to take this uh, Sky Sovereign and be a little upset that I have to pass uh, Thriving Rhino. Because Thriving Rhino and Restoration Gear Smith. I don't think I'm playing this door chat. If I get like a joiner adept, maybe. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm not playing this leveler. Not happening. This card is fucked. I am taking this betrayal of flesh and I am going to teach you all a lesson. Oh yeah, this card is cracked. So if you don't know what this card does, it costs five and a black and it's an instant. It says destroy target creature or return target creature from your graveyard to play. Entwine is sacrifice three lands. Now that's a heavy entwine cost for sure. But instant speed, kill anything at six mana. Not great, but you know, you'll do it, especially in formats like this. Instant speed, six mana, bring back your best creature. Um, pretty good in a deck with a bunch of big idiots too. But when you entwine it, you instant speed, kill their best creature, get back your best creature, and then block killing their second best creature. So it's like, you do sacrifice a bunch of lands, but it ends up being like a, a three or four for one. It's, it's brutal. Ooh, lightning river. Haste and fear? The only thing to fear is haste itself. 
as like what a border post. Mm, I'll take a lightning reaver. Yeah, this card rules. Alara block has some really cool rares. It's just a lot of cool cards in Alara block. I'm a, I'm a sucker for spellbound dragon. I remember trying to get a spellbound dragons uh spellbound dragons deck uh sorry, spellbound dragon decks to work at uh to work at FNM. Like look at the size of this lad. 5 mana 3 5 flyer when it attacks, you can draw a card and discard a card and it gets plus x plus 0 where x is the discarded cards uh mana value. Ooh. <clears throat> Uh, I'm not super aggressive, but I will probably take Okiba Reckoner Raid or Papercraft. Yeah, I'll take the Reckoner Raid. This card's pretty good. Drains him and makes a 2-2 two -two menace. This has pretty good flavor text, too. A King and Jund, a Surf and Esper. What about Bant? What about Bant, Ben? Just opening all the fucking goofy rares here. Uh, Sheepin's favorite card. I mean, I might actually take the Scrapper Champion. The rest of this deck, or this pack, stinks. I'll take the Scrappies. It could be Jund. Dune Mover? I'd rather be Dune... I'll take Dune... I'll take Dune Mover. Dune Mover? <laughs> oh, that's a big sneeze. That's a big sneeze. I still haven't watched Dune or Dune 2. I've been too busy doing... Ooh. Um. Fill with Fright might actually be fine. This card wasn't that bad. Composite Golem does get me closer to the door. I'm not playing this door. I would like to win this draft. I didn't see... No, I didn't get a Pantad Prism or anything. I, I'm going to take this fill with Freight. Ooh, I could take a, a Shock. I might not even play red. I like the, the black-green ramp cards. <laughs> Look. I know everybody wants to see Door to Nothingness. If I get a Joiner Adept, I'll play it. How about that? If I get a Joiner Adept, I will play the Door. Oh, pick a spell up. Cycles itself. <laughs> oh, I'll play this. Gains lifelink and I get to rebuy the ETV. It's pretty good. Pump the Fraxian Rager. <laughs> oh, maybe this is better. Indestructible and lifelink's kind of hot. Don't know if I'm playing all these. Uh, 
I could lurk some ropes. I don't have a lot of life gain. One T Mal or one T Fang Bite might actually just be the pick. I don't think I need to actually splash red. I'm gonna take this Fang Blade. That toucher. That touch pretty good. Spell bombs do reverse effects. One discards a card. Oh, one animates a land for some reason. Ooh. I could take a go through the throat, but I think I'm taking a second Phyrexian Rager. Oh yeah. I could take a marsh flats. Um, I mean, you had that white card. Why not splashing that? Could take this. More than one one counter putting on Scree Oak. I'm not doing that that much. Uh, I think I'm just taking the spider or I'm taking a black red duel so we could splash lightning reaver. I'm going to take the spider. Because I want to cut that cowl prowler too. <laughs> what do they call me? Wait a minute. What do they, what do, they call me? Ranger of Eos. This pack stinks. There's a magma spray. I might end up playing red. I'll take this magma spray. These two dinguses. Another magma spray? Oh, lightning. Lightning's a fucking beater. Uh, yeah, I'll take blighting. All right, I, I'm on the red. I'm on the red splash. All right, you got me. Every fucking time. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, blightning rules. <laughs> oh, just saw a great tweet of um, uh, learning about OJ Simpson for the first time. Are you serious? Jesus Christ. 143 yards per game? Ho, 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 ho. Mm, I could take another four four yeah, or another four drop. I'll take another. It's it's a good good bit. What kind of Jun deck is this? Uh, mid. Two mana, two, two. Sick. No stumps. No, I've stopped doing stumps. I would just prefer to do the enchant world Ol and the uh, spellify. But I do think we should figure out new things to do with channel points.
We should do... I don't know. There's got to be some way that we can gamble. Surely. I might play this. Is that wild? I could see a matchup where I side in Tower of Fortunes. Been sitting on enough for a Diet Coke. I have started drinking coffee again, uh, but I am not going to start drinking Diet Coke again. So I got to figure something out. We gotta figure something out. Mm. Egg flavoring? What do you mean? Egg versus ham? You want me to eat some ham too? Ooh, Piston Sledge. It's pretty good. Uh, probably not for this deck. But this card's not that bad. Where'd it go? Three mana, equips immediately, plus three plus run. You got a sack and artifact to equip Oh yeah, we got the we got the duel! This deck is so coming together. Alright. Alright, we did it. A pitcher of eggs. Ugh. We're activating our door. Dude, we could activate our door. Well, that's a good magic card. What the? This might be too much top end, but I don't know. They're, this format has seemed a bit slower. Sure, I'll I'll trust you, Magic Online. I'll trust you, sweetie pie. Shit, on the draw. Uh, I mean, I got I got a Phyrexian Rager. How can I lose? How can I lose? Skeletonize. You mean the card that was uh, bugged on Magic Online? Just like cause the game to crash and you or it caused the game crash. It just like ended the game basically. A, a mountain would be pretty good here. Uh, the boat's also pretty good. Oh, the scurry oak. John Panorama. Play a death touch creature. Excuse me? Excuse me? They played Questing Beast. Yeah, two can play that game. <sighs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't know why Eldraine is in here. Ooh, Tell Jalad Wolf. I remember you. Land. Let's get this boat online. Oh. Draw a mountain. I'll take it. 
Yeah, tech, I mean, there are some artifacts. There are a bunch of cards that make food is what it feels like. Ooh, no, 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 oh, yeah, sure, fucking just do it, come on, all right, betrayal of, well, no, betrayal of flash costs six, hold on, hold on, <clears throat> uh, do I want to show the boat, realistically, am I winning this game, not really, I don't want to do this. Gain two. Or gain three, excuse me. Because then we can at least take a couple of hits here. I think that's better than playing the spider. Spider doesn't trade with QB. I would love a mountain. Oh, I... I just conceded. Or I, I clicked through. It's fine. We weren't winning. Um, okay, questing beast, questing beast, questing beast. I'm on the play. Give me this fill with fright. Let me get rid of this. Sand's actually kind of cracked. What should you... Should I shave my beard? Yes, you should shave your beard. If you feel like shaving your beard, you should shave. It feels great. Why does your beard need sh does your yeah, if your beard needs shaving. I'm not going to fill with fright yet. Get this rager down. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. Alright, I'm going to attack and fill with fright. Rat Rathew isn't in a cage. Rathew is free. Rathew has never been freer. They might discard a big donkey. I guess we can only get our own stuff. Oh, well, I'm glad I cast this card. Oh, living hive? Yo. All right, this card is... Uh, Oh, yeah. Love Living Hive. This card rules. I want more commander decks to play this kind of card. Eight mana, six, six. Trample. When it deals combat damage to player, you make that many one ones. Dog. Insect link. Mm -hmm. Swarm touch. That's a good sign. Unfortunately, we don't have an attack. Ooh, but I do have a dread maw. <laughs> oh, Bloomborough has a literal big donkey. 
I'd be down for that. I'm very excited for this donkey. <laughs> if you didn't watch the fam jam yesterday, that's a hell of a draw. Um, we had a large discussion about getting a donkey. Big talk about us buying a donkey or renting a donkey. And the donkey bit. Yeah, I we got to the donkey bit. There was like $170 worth of donations for us to rent a donkey. Oh, yeah. All right. If they attack with... They're not going to attack with multiple things. But I do get to showcase why Betrayal of Flesh is so busted. Kinda. Destroy this. Get back this. Oh, wait. Shit, I don't have any mana. I can do it now. They're tapped out. Kill this. Bring back this. Uh, just like that. It's an instant. Yeah. Oh, I'm killing the wolf. Taking six. You got a two. Yeah, this card's messed up. <laughs> this card's so good. Um, yeah, I'll run it back. Run it back. I should maybe. Oh, uh, maybe I should have brought in the uh, indestructible card. Oh yeah, perfect mana. Here's my Necrogen Smell Bomb. Smell Bomb. <laughs> Carlos. Carlos, you motherfucker. They 100% have Questing Beast. They have Questing Beast. There's no way they don't. They have to have Questing Beast. I can feel it. <laughs> They're going to play a questing beast. And I will 100% two for one myself to get that card off the board. <clears throat> oh, they don't have the forest. Poisoner? Yeah. Hmm. I'm sending. I'm sending. I'm shipping everything. Stole. Oh, the, the favorite part of the fam jam was when I told the story of when I punched somebody into compost. That was pretty good. Off of a trampoline with sock and boppers. Okay. Oh, thank God.
We're going to get a 2-2 here. We can even cash in the spell bomb. They're going to Molten Collapse. Ah, oh, come on, ref. We needed those. A wolf. Giddy up. I'm going to make a 4 4. I'm going to make my own questing beast. Bug. Oh. That's a reasonable draw. Play my snake. If they draw green, go forest, questing beast, attack. I can block, return to action, trade, get a treasure token, and play the Dreadmaw, Poggers. Poggies, my doggies. Okay. That's kind of funny. But what if I did this? I am going to make a, uh... come on, no second green, Tangle Asp, holy shit. Oh, that's a good card. I'm going to just push as much damage. They block, oh, they're trading there? Trading here. Very weird trade. Um, I'm going to set this up because it doesn't have trample, but it will let me find like the best card for here. Hopefully. <clears throat> All right. Great. <clears throat> This person looks like they're my alt. Like, what are the odds of having somebody with SE7? An SE7 in the queue. Lobasaur, welcome back for the ninth month. How you doing? Chat ghosts are real. Ooh. I just read the funniest tweet that I think I've seen in a long time. Holy shit. Holy goddamn. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, 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 hold on. So the first tweet, is this person saying, oh, a moto error, uh-oh. Uh, the first tweet is somebody saying, if you tell me to shave my bush, you're weak, your entire bloodline is weak and you will not last the winter, thank you. Which is like, yeah, all right, don't tell people what to do with their bodies. And then I read the second part. We get it. You're not neurodivergent with an extreme hair avoidance phobia. There are many people who can't eat pussy with hair on it without seriously harming their mental health. Please do better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, shit. All right, Magic Online just closed. Uh, where's my Magic Online? I feel like they're just taking the piss, but it is very funny. But you never know. There's some people out there that are probably just better off never leaving their homes. The tweet broke Magic Online. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Ooh, we got the discard sweet. <laughs> Please do better.
Uh oh. One mana, one, one. Anal Del Rey is a pretty good handle, too. But I can only imagine this is one of the most unhinged people. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I could crack the spell bomb. You know what? I think I am going to make them discard a card. Have I told my Lana Del Rey story yet? It's a good one. Um, I was uh, at, I just let it happen. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm going to strip your hand, friend. Big sorry. Blightning. Upstairs. <laughs> Take three. Get rid of those cards. You're not going to need them. You're not going to need them. Uh, you weren't going to play them anyways. I, okay, so there was a bunch of records from after my uncle died that were just kind of sitting around, that weren't getting used. And I went with my aunt to the uh, Vancouver Record Exchange, which is like a monthly record, uh, like, sale. Like, you set up a, a, you get a table, you can sell your, your you know, your vinyl and your, um, you know, whatever you have, some memorabilia, that kind of stuff. Um and they had giveaways throughout the day. Uh, catch you later, AMC. They had like giveaways throughout the day, right? Like you, uh, you know, they were giving away some uh, some records. And one of the records was uh, Lana Del Rey's album. The, what is it the one? It's the one with video games on it. Born to Die. It was Born to Die. And as soon as they announced that they had Born to Die, I, uh, I think I go to the Lost My Fandelver. Yeah. As soon as I, they had Born to Die, I turn to my cousin who's there with us, uh, and I go, oh, I'm getting that album. Like I'm going to win this draw and it is going to be, it's going to be the fucking Lana Del Rey. There's no way I can feel it. And she's like laughing. I'm like, no, it, it has to happen. I wasn't even that, like, I didn't listen to a lot of Lana Del Rey back then or anything. Um, and there were some other albums that they were giving away that were like dope. Like there was a, they had a mass of the fermenting dregs vinyl. And I was so fucking stoked. I wanted to win that one. Um, and I, I was so ready, you know, um, just like fingers crossed, hoping to win that, that album did not gets to the last album and it's landed. It's born to die. Lana Del Rey. It's the last album they're giving away and they're doing the, the draw. And I look my cousin in the eye and say, well, they're going to need me up there. And I start walking up to the stage as a bit, like I was going to turn around or whatever. And sure as shit, they call my name and I win the fucking Lana Del Rey album. And there's a photo of me. I don't think I have it anymore. It, may, it probably got scrubbed from the internet uh, when I got doxxed and had to delete uh, everything. But there's a photo of me holding this Lana Del Rey album. And I'm like, my face is like, Oh, like I'm making the like, oh, kind of face. It was so funny. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with this? I gave it away. Uh, also, cool thing. I met uh, Nardwar. 
And Nardwar talked to me that weekend. That was that was very cool. That was very cool. Yeah, that event ruled. That was like that was like a a, a weekend where I was just like, oh, this makes me want to buy vinyl. Oh, and this must have been like what 2012, I want to say. 2012, maybe early 2013. It was cool to meet Nardwar. He's a Vancouver guy. To, to the people that only know about Nardwar from uh, from his videos online. <clears throat> oh yeah, this hand rules. Didn't Loading Ready run? What? LRR ran into Atlanta Del Rey? There's no way. <laughs> the Pizza Tower soundtrack. <clears throat> Tornado. This is, yeah, the third time that they've uh, mentioned Gladiator. Hopefully not the last. <clears throat> well, this card's cracked. Although we'll have to have a talk uh, with them about future events, I think. Yeah, I'll take a forest. This card's so big. Yeah, it would be nice if there was a whole queue where you could just play whatever you want. Ooh. Ooh. Dune Mover? Did they mess a land drop? Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to play this and pass. Maybe I can set up some box where I keep a uh, little death touchy. Attacking with everything. I mean, they probably have some kind of... Um, what was the... Did they discard a combat trick? <laughs> I mean, I'll do this. If I can get them to use their cards, then I can just dump them with this lightning. <clears throat> get them top decking. Yeah, there's discords. Uh, discords could host a queue or two. I mean, there's looking for games on the discords, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's so much easier to just click button and find opponent, you know? I just can't get you out of my head. They just didn't have anything. Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> they attacked in that way. I assume they had anything. I maybe should have blocked differently. Put the dune mover in front of the copper horn. Rocks. Brute. Hit you with the blightning. Discard your curds, please. 
got a four mana four four. Gets the job done. And we're we're kind of bricking. I mean, if this resolves and we can connect, then we're going to race them. Uh, the early access was all right, uh, but they cut it off abruptly, and there weren't enough people playing. But also, oh, they drew a fucking removal spell. No. No. My. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. Good draw by my opponent. Um, <clears throat> we got some turns. We have a bunch of cards that are just bigger than this. Betrayal of Flesh would always be uh, would would be sick. I'll take a Betrayal of Flesh. Have they screwed that up? Well, there were a bunch of layoffs that happened. I don't know if I'd say screwed that up. But uh, presumably, uh, the layoffs that happened involved uh, firing the people that handled it or at the very least caused a shift, enough of a shift where uh, there just was not enough, you know. Ooh, so that gets to block that. I have X spells, so I'm just going to play my land. I don't have a good attack here, but I have some reasonable blocks. I mean, the Dune Mover trades with the Rot Wolf. They go up to three cards. The fact they're not drawing lands is a little awkward. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Rager, despite all my rage. Are you looking? Uh, if you're looking for it, then I would check the... <clears throat> follow that. Uh, the depth and breadth of Seth. I don't actually have them on hand. You can maybe Google it. Gladiator and TGA deck lists. Don't have a good attack here. Oh shit. This card is so busted. I mean, we have a reach creature. But this makes my blocking a little more difficult to do. Are we 5 0? Uh, I mean, we won our first two drafts. We 3 0'd our first two drafts. This is our third draft. We are currently 1 0. Uh, we're in our second match. We're up a game, but my opponent is drawing like a fucking champ. I'm on tilt. <laughs> I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt, Jerry. Uh, betrayal of Flesh. Give me that Betrayal of Flesh. I think I'm dead. Maybe. That blocks that. That blocks that. That blocks that. I don't get to block profitably if they attack with everything. Betrayal Flush. Okay. I have drawn five more lands, my opponent. This is not going very well. <clears throat> That's a pretty good draw. Can maybe keep us in the game. But we are on a short clock. Need to find a way to kill this paratrooper or find a reach creature. Do you have a second one? Oh, you're making two on ones. Okay, I'm glad I went wide then. 
Is my opponent playing like five lands in their deck? Like where? <laughs> Please brick. Please, please. Magma Spray would be okay, too. No, just... Uh... Oh, they didn't pump, though. This one I'm going to hold. I don't know why they didn't pump. That was a two-turn clock. What are, you, what are you holding up? We might be able to sneak out a couple more turns here. Drawing that Divine Smite just kind of won them the game because we drew we drew two lands, so we didn't have, like, anything to really follow up with. And we just kind of got checked by this. My hope is that they don't go to pump, and then we can just bluff the Magma. Yeah, they're just... Okay, we get an extra turn. Oh, they're tap... What?! You don't do this unless... I mean, I guess I'm at one, but if I draw the Magma Spray now... Oh, this is big. This has reach. Are you going to lapse of certainty me? I can't believe I'm still playing this game. They might have, like, a kill spell for this golfer. Kind of be an unreal. Uh, I guess, no, I should hold this up because I can bluff. Um, okay. Well, I'm running it back. I tried to say thank you and got auto-modded. Did you say the word that it starts with an S? And ends with O-R-R-Y? <clears throat> oh, thank you. The music stopped. Mm. I mean, we did draw 13 out of 17 at the end there. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to keep this. It's very aggressive. Getting Reckoner Raid going turn one is pretty huge. Turn one on the play. This doesn't set up anything. But, like, we have a lot of things that our deck can do that'll really just, like... Let us take off. I don't think I need to grab the second black. I'm just going to, yeah. Just playing this out as a piker. Yeah, you don't need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. Whew. All right. On curve, I am going to Blightning them. Just get them out of there. I'm trying to jund him out. That last game is going to tilt me out for a while. Going to be on the plane to Winnipeg tomorrow and I'm just on tilt. Stand firm? Oh, yeah. This is a stinker. Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and scry two. <clears throat> There's a card called Lose Hope. It's the black version of this. Is minus one, minus one. 
13 lands. Can you fucking believe it? Please don't play the XL. Oh, I don't care about this card. I mean, if they double block here, it's kind of bad. They're just taking it? Whoa. Why did you make two tokens and then not trade with my two drop? <laughs> oh, yeah. Razor Golem? Hmm. Love me a Razor Golem. Oh yeah, this is gonna happen again. It's okay, this deck pops off at six. Razor Golem's pretty slick. <clears throat> oh, this thing's a sorcery, yeah. All right, well, we're taking three. You know, I hope their hand is filled with like Koldotha Phoenix. Just a bunch of red cards. I think now, do I want to double block and kill this thing? Yeah, you know what I do? I really think I do. There's no way they have another stand firm. Get this thing off the board, it's too big. I need to draw my six drops, though, or anything. That's a good boat. All right, great. Now all we need to do is draw a creature. Yeah, this was a chaos draft. I can also have bombs. I also have eight lands in play. I am up three lands over my opponent. Would like something. Rocks, brutes, uh, creature. Ooh -hoo! Um. Boat. Ooh. Put them to six. Okay. So if they kill our boat, yeah, they can kill my reaver. I just need to draw something for the boat. We can take three, we can take four hits off the current board. They have a divine smite anyways. Engulfer. Trying to mana screw me? You dare? You dare? Have I told the story about um, my opponent at the Aether? Was it Aether Revolt? I don't think it was actually Kaladesh pre-release. Is that one of those pre-releases where I win game one 
Game two, they play a Sky Sovereign. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? How do I, how do you beat this magic card? I am going to keep. I was like, how do you beat this magic card? This card is so good. It's unbelievably good. And then, um, they beat me and I side in some more stuff to deal with it. And they, I like keep this kind of okay hand and I start to like take over the game. Like I start to genuinely put myself into a good position and I'm like, okay, I can do this. They play a boat, they kill my thing. And I'm like, no, I have the removal spell and I kill their boat. And I'm like, okay, I think I stabilized. Then they untap and they play a second boat. <laughs> they untap and they played a second boat. Oh shit, it was so, like, in the hindsight, it's very funny. <laughs> but it, when it happened to me, I'm just like, are you, there's no way, are you kidding here? Yeah, the can-can playing. Please don't counter my Cobra. Please don't counter my Cobra. No, I said don't counter my Cobra. Oh, with a Condescend? That's sick. They did it for two. Really didn't want me to resolve this card. So many boats. Okay, if I draw a swamp, we're in it. If I draw a swamp, I feel like I'm doing a thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think I'm going to blame you. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, really needed that Cobra to resolve. Now they've blightening to me. I don't even know what this does. Attacks for one is what I'm reading. Oh. Onyx Goblet. No, not like this. Please not like this. <laughs> Please not like this. Good, excuse me, creatures are defending players' graveyard. Don't have another play. Oh, not the architect's well. Are you tar- Oh, they're targeting- Oh, they're targeting themselves. I would target me. Nice Onyx Goblet. I'm gonna lose to Onyx Goblet. That's what I'm realizing. I'm going to lose to Onyx Goblet. Uh, yeah, I don't want to show them anymore. Unfort. Bit of a risky keep. But I think I liked it. Ha? Huh? Because <laughs> of Onyx Goblet? Were you just summoned by Onyx Goblet? As like the one other person that has cast and tapped that card probably in the past decade? Okay, now I know what I did last time didn't work out. But what if it did this time? Yeah, I'll keep. They have a Chancellor of the Dross. <laughs> Holy shit. This thing is kind of unbeatable. We have excuse me, Betrayal of Flesh. Oh, that card's pretty good. Boosh. Mm, what do I want to get condescended? Probably this Rager. Oh, they didn't have it. Weird.
I mean, a seven mana six six fluff. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, now I'm not doing it. Seven mana six six flyer is pretty good. Soul Mirror. Mm, I'd like a mountain. I'll trade. They pay two, sack that. That's fine. Then I'm hopefully resolving this Earthshaker Dreadmaw. Banger music, I feel like I'm on an adventure. Go out of it. Yeah, it's got Bushido, effectively. But it does not say Bushido. Ooh! Hot Shot Shaw, that was pretty gross. Mm, I'm gonna play my dread model. And then if I can betrayal of flesh something, that'd be cool, but I don't think so. I feel like I've lost this match. That game one was kind of unfortunate, although I also kept a bit of a risky biscuit. The condescend was kind of brutal. <clears throat> ho ho! Chittering rats? Yo. Chittering rats is. Real gross. But then they have the goblet. They have the goblet. I'll put him out on top. Sip in the cup. Damn, they got the activated abilities on deck. Oh shit, they kept the card on top. That's not good. Hey, play the Chancellor of the Draws. Mm. I'll make big trades. Cast with Entwine. I'm gonna kill this and get back my Rager. <clears throat> yeah, just keep making me lose life here. Upkeep surveils pretty good. I don't like that they kept it on top. Oh. No. No, no, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Oh. That's a... Uh, that's a bad beat. That's a bad beat. Their deck's pretty good. Deck is pretty good. Odd, some odd cards in here, but you know, if they're an artifact, it's pretty good. Yeah, this is not a song by a, a literal baby. Bring back that. You're just gonna cash it in. Oh, thought cast. Okay. 
Drew a land. Crack that, okay. Okay, well they're not attacking, that's good. That's real good. Kill spell? Oh! Top. Up top. <laughs> uh, kind of want to cut this out, muscle, and bring in fill with fright. They're a slower deck. I should maybe bring in resourceful return, actually. On the draw. I mean, this is fine. Up top. Up top. <clears throat> um, oh, wait. I should bring in the Tower of Fortunes. I should bring in the Tower of Fortunes. This game is going to go that long. Although the cup might have something to say about it. I'll keep. You don't, you haven't seen Tower of Fortunes out of Sasaya? I mean, it's pretty good. You can do, oh, I'm dead. Okay, we're in it for the long game. Problem is, this card's really good into the long game, too. <clears throat> I kind of like draft environments like this, where, like, the scariest thing is that Chancellor of the Draw, so I just have to save my, um... I just have to save my, uh... Whatchamacallit? The Betrayal of Flesh for this Chancellor of the Draws. That's not great. I can trade my Dune Mover for their Aether Poisoner if they want to attack. I probably they probably want to block. If I can get this boat down, I'm in a great spot. Dude, if I could get this boat down, I'd be in a great spot. I feel like they have a condescend. So they can trade and condescend for this. Because I just need to clear the way for these. Yeah, hit me with that condescend. <clears throat> Hit me with those laser beams. I have not watched Dune yet. I might do that on the... I might be doing that on the movie. Or on the plane. Excuse me. But I kind of want to watch Dune not on a plane. You know? Maybe I'll watch Dune in a hotel room. What do you think? They have... Right, I'm going for it. No condescend. No second counter. No second counter. No second counter. No second counter. Please, no second counter. Yes! Uh, woo! I attacked there because if they block with the Aether Poisoner, um, or even the Combat Courier, I think I lead with the Tunnel or the Funnel Web Recluse. Snakes on a plane. I remember seeing that on opening night. That song by Cobra Starship. That's annoying. Come on, bring it. So kiss me goodbye. I don't know how to make it out alive. 
Mm-hmm. And I can see the devil in your eyes. <laughs> Whoa! We did it again. Ha-cha-cha. I don't know why this popped up. All right. Not bad. Three trophies. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you go? Not bad. Three trophies. God, it just makes me wish that I had more. If I had more time, I would do another one, but I have not packed. <gasps> but look, we're on the, we're on the leaderboard! <laughs> Aha! That's all I wanted. All right, I, I can retire. We're on the leaderboard for this. Let me, let me open this treasure chest. Oh. Oh, let's go, Fungusaur. Do you profit play points? You do. Um, so we're racking up. We we this is this is basically infinite. So we're fine. I'm gonna call it there. Thanks everybody for watching and tuning in. Uh, reminder: I'm not gonna be streaming today, tomorrow. Or sorry, I'm not gonna be streaming on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday um, because I will be filming in Winnipeg with the Spike Feeders and Shivam. Uh, but I will be back to something somewhat normalized uh, for next week. I know that it's been a little weird with streams in the past uh, couple weeks, but I've been busy with behind the scenes stuff and the new set and uh, traveling and playing in things and all that jazz. Uh, so yeah, let me drop you kids off somewhere. <clears throat> somewhere. Oh yeah, it's Serge's birthday slash subathon slash thing so go watch Serge do the thing Serge and I had a long talk about how to do this in a healthy manner uh yeah go watch that and I'll see y'all sometime okay bye